A good morning and a warm welcome now to the Goal International Stadium. And we are here for the final game of uh, this uh, series of uh, the uh, Women's Under-19 Tri-Nations uh, Tournament uh, overall, which was uh, played in Hambantota and uh, now in Goal. It has been a wonderful series and a much look forward uh, final game uh, as well uh, coming up uh, shortly. It's uh, Sri Lanka, the host, taking on uh, the visiting England uh, team. Both these teams were defeated by Australia here at goal in the 50 over tournament. So they'll be looking to get a win under their belts, a consolation win to end this tournament on a high. The conditions, as always, are looking picturesque, beautiful, hot, and sunny out there. But there was a bit of a breeze flowing across the ground, which we didn't have in the last few days. And that is uh, certainly good news uh, for the players as well. That bit of a sea breeze. Uh, says uh, partly cloudy as we see the temperature uh, 32. There is uh, a wind uh, of 11 kilometers. That's what I was talking about. A bit more wind. The other day it was just uh, 7 km. So it's 11 km uh, today. And that was uh, certainly uh, refreshing. And it will uh, hope it will stay that way for the most of the, the day as uh, well. The humidity 69%. Uh, percent, uh, the Indian Ocean uh, looking very calm and uh, good. The T20 series, uh, as we know, commenced on the 28th of March, ended on the 3rd of April. England winning uh, three games, Sri Lanka winning two games, and Australia winning just one game. But coming over to goal, Australia have been dominant, beating Sri Lanka by 88 runs, a massive win. And the other day, uh, winning by two wickets uh, over England, uh, chasing 244 victory. Today's final game. England versus uh, Sri Lanka. It has been a wonderful uh, couple of weeks, and uh, both teams, the visiting teams, uh, visiting teams have really enjoyed themselves, and it has been a great experience for the Sri Lankans as well. In that last match, uh, England were bowled out in 48 overs for 239. They should have got at least another 10 to 15 runs. Jones was fantastic, 57. Taylor, 33. Grucock 33 as well, Smell 26, La Rosa outstanding, she was the player of the match, 3 for 31, Hamilton 2 for 37, continuing a good from Hasrat Gill 2 for 49 and Finn 2 for 36, Australia got there in 45.3 overs with the Pelly making 56, La Rosa, 30, uh, La Rosa 52, and Macion got them, to a, got them off to a super start of 31 of 17, Gill doing the finishing uh, touches unbeaten on the 23. Coleman picked up two, Pavley Stonehouse and Taylor picking up a wicket each as Australia managed uh, to get there with uh, two wickets in hand. So it, has, uh, it was certainly an entertaining game and uh, England would have thought if they had a few more runs on the board they could have put more pressure on the Australians uh, uh, in that uh, game but Australia looked uh, certainly the better side. Uh, so far out of the three teams in this 50 over series, they look more composed, they look to be more settled, they have played of course a lot more 50 over cricket uh, domestically, in club level, uh, out there in Australia as well, regional level and uh, they look the more confident uh, side. This was Jones in that uh, half century, she played some super shots, she was uh, delightful to watch, played both sides of the wicket uh, really well was good off the front foot as well as uh, the uh, short ball anything loose she put it away to the boundary and uh, showing us uh, what uh, she's made of uh, with those uh, cheeky paddle sweeps river sweeps and uh, she was fantastic to watch it was her best innings by far on this uh, in this uh, series or in uh, Sri Lanka and uh, it was one of the uh, better batting displays we have seen over the last uh, two weeks and uh, she'll be looking to uh, carry on that uh, momentum into this uh, game as uh, well. It was uh, a very good half century by uh, Katie Jones, uh, the wicket keeper, energetic behind the stumps. And uh, look at those pictures. Wonderful to see the southern province here, the Gaul city, and its surroundings surrounded by the Indian Ocean. Such a busy city, Gaul is uh, just outside the uh, grounds as well. And as we say, a very good. Good morning uh, to uh, Paulinus uh, DS Vijayaratna, who is uh, just uh, joined us in the commentary box. 
Good morning, Ricky, and good morning to all our viewers all around the globe from uh, Goal International Cricket Stadium. There you see the players uh, doing their warm-up drills and they're not take, having a knock. That's the English team doing their warm-up drills here at the Goal International Cricket Stadium, playing their last game on this tour against Sri Lanka, a 50-over international. You see the Sri Lankan team having their last-minute pep talks and their drills. Well, a lot uh, will be... This game will be really, really interesting for the Sri Lankans. They need to gain experience in 50-over cricket. Normally, their school cricket levels have been played at 30-overs level, but uh, they did pretty well. Although, even though they lost their first game to Australia, they did very well in the first game. They might be wanting to do much better than that in the final game here. Well, Australia beat England as well as Sri Lanka. They got uh, two wins. There you see some pictures, cues, photographs coming from the, uh, the drone camera all around the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. Beautiful looking uh, place here to, in Sri Lanka. Down the southern part of Sri Lanka, one of the wonderful tourist destinations. This ground itself, uh, pictures keep ground. Wonderful to watch uh, a game from the golf court there, right on the other side. Most of the people enjoying their cricket and uh, situated right at the heart of the town centre in Gaul. This Gaul International Cricket Stadium. The Gaul Cricket Club was founded in 1876, about 148 years ago and this ground has been looking pretty good today the final game and we go down for the toss there's ricky sims down with the two captains and the match referee brendan koropo over to ricky a good morning and a warm welcome once again to the goal international stadium we are here for the final game of the under 19 women's tri nation series. It's the 50 over format, and today's game is between England and uh, Sri Lanka. We have uh, the uh, two captains, Manu Dinanekara for Sri Lanka, Jody Grukok, uh, captain in England uh, today for the first time, and our match referee, Mr. Brendan Kurupu. Manu, they will uh, toss the coin. Heads. Heads. The ball. Tails, it is. So heads was the call, tails have uh, come down, Manudi has uh, won the toss, uh, Manudi won the Karanda Kalpanava. T20 series, I get the Happy Jack Grani Kare, Mulim Batkala, Eka Vishay, Eka the Hetu and I 50 over get the Batkarana. Him a Kakname, Pichaka at the Mondai other, eating outfield at Tondai, Betin Nola Pigato, other changes, Latina pay team make a debut Selakano Vimoksha Balasuri, eating a Santi Hera Tatul Tavil Latina. Players like it got to like it improvement at the end. I think any sir, you can bench a key to put Hamotama Avastava Labinomi and Tim again. Again, uh, on the score of Moka, the England at the different current. Uh, a P target at the end, the city hack, the hack, uh, sell Lankara. Ulu series, a game, Antima Tarange, enjoy Karada, on the Oh, anyway, good luck, uh, Manudi. Good luck, well, team. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jody, if you had won the toss, what would uh, you have done? Uh, we would have looked to bat first. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the other day, a close game versus Australia. When you take it into consideration, uh, uh, did you think you got enough for 239 against Australia? Uh, yeah, we thought we'd put a good score on the board. Um, just unfortunately, we didn't back out with our bowling. Um, but we always look to score more. But we thought we had a good good total. What do you think uh, is a good total to restrict uh, Sri Lanka today? Um, I think around 240 would be par, so if we can get anything under that, that would be great. You're captain in England for the first time. Butterflies yeah. in your stomach? Uh, a bit nervous, but mostly excited. Yeah, I can't wait. It's an unbelievable opportunity. It's, uh, how have you enjoyed uh, Sri Lanka so far? Yeah, I had the best time. Um, yeah, somewhere I'd love to come back to. Good luck, uh, Jody, on your captaincy and uh, good luck to England for this final game. Thank you very much. So there you go, Manu Dinane Kara has uh, won the toss and uh, as she said, uh, it's a good uh, uh, track to bet on, looking to get uh, 240 plus. Few changes for Sri Lanka in their lineup uh, as uh, well and uh, Sri Lanka will be betting first in this final game versus England. There you are, we heard from Ricky Sims, that Sri Lankan captain Manu Dinane Kara winning the toss and deciding to bat first. There you see the Sri Lankan lineup: Vihanga Kavindi, Nana Kara, Sawande, Nithranjari, Sansala. Kimani, Prabodha, Sanjana, 
Balasuria and Herat. So they have made two changes in their side. Vimukshi Balasuria coming into the side and Rashmi Sanjana in place of Ashani Kaushalya and uh, Hiruni Hansika. That's from the last game. So the uh, the England team, Rivkak, Perrin, Nogro, Surikumar, Jones, Pavley, Ward, Smell, Taylor, Stonehouse and Lee. So England, as usual, have made four changes in their side. Colin Cotman uh, been left out, Jesse Gross, their captain, been left out, and uh, Charlotte Lambert and uh, Erin Thomas have been left out. And coming in uh, is Awa Lee, Devina Perrin, Amurta Sure Kumar, and uh, Maddie Ward. That's from the last game which they played against Australia a couple of days ago. So the umpires uh, on duty today is. Uh, Kirti Bandara and uh, Pradeep Udavatta, the on-field umpires. And uh, Shanta Fonseca is going to be there. You see some beautiful pictures again coming from the Pictures You Go Cricket Stadium. So the two umpires, uh, Kirti Bandara and Pradeep Udavatta, on-field umpires, while Shanta Fonseca will be doing the reserve umpires duties. Well, the TV umpire will be Ravindra Kotachi, match referee Brendan Koropo. The scorers, we have Harshini Vijasuria down with here with us. M. Nandalal and Kaushal Lasanta will be doing, doing the scoring duties uh, on the scoreboard. So an interesting game is on the cards. As I say, good morning to Ricky Sims who has joined us again in the box. Good morning, Ricky. Uh, good morning, Paulina. And once again, a very good morning to all our viewers. If you're joining us for this final game of the Under-19 uh, Tri-Nations, Sri Lanka versus England, you're watching on Channel I, a warm welcome. And uh, if you're up there in Australia or England or wherever you are, whichever part of the world you are, uh, welcome uh, to this uh, live uh, broadcast. Uh, coming up, we have the two uh, umpires out in the centre. They are ready and uh, set to go. And uh, Pradeep Udavata, very senior umpire, first-class umpire here in Sri Lanka, has been around uh, a long time. A well respected gentleman from uh, the Sri Lanka police. Loves his cricket, played his cricket, and uh, now uh, still continuing with the game as an uh, umpire. And uh, at the other end, we have Kirti Bandar, another very senior umpire now in uh, Sri Lanka as well. And uh, they are looking forward uh, to this uh, final game. Uh, so Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bat first. It's going to be a big opportunity, a big test for these young girls. They haven't played a lot of 50 over cricket. In fact, um, this is the first time they're really playing a competitive uh, 50 over cricket. And uh, when you play Australia and England, it's no easy task. Whatever the category, whatever the age, whatever the format it is, it's a huge. Sanjana Kavindi, she's been excellent. The left hand batter has so much talent, so much potential. Is one player we could uh, certainly uh, identify for the future. Sumudu Nisansala has been promoted up the order. She'll be batting, uh, opening the batting today. Today we don't have Ashani Kaushalya who played the last game. She's been left out. A couple of changes uh, to the Sri Lankan lineup. So another opportunity for the wicket keeper Sumudu Nisansila to uh, perform in the uh, power play. Yes, we were talking about Kavindi. She's uh, a great talent and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of her going forward for women's uh, cricket uh, in Sri Lanka. There are a few players definitely in the Sri Lankan lineup. If they're well nurtured and uh, well protected. And uh, if they get uh, that back in, I'm sure they will uh, deliver. 54 in the one game she played against Australia when uh, Sri Lanka really uh, crumbled around her. The other batters uh, didn't get going. She just uh, contained herself and played a, a very mature innings uh, for Sri Lanka. Alexa Stonehouse, she's had a, a wonderful uh, visit to Sri Lanka. And uh, 3 for 51. She's uh, picked up... Uh, so far so she's ready and uh, set to go so that's uh, Sanjani Sanjana Kavindi he's on strike she's on strike oh, good delivery by four by Stonehouse taking it away from the left-handed batter Sri Lanka winning the toss and deciding to bat first. Yeah. 
Yes, it's a good toss to win, I would say, for uh, Sri Lanka. I think they are more comfortable, definitely. Batting first, putting runs on the board, then trying to put the opposition under pressure. Good job, good job. So it uh, was a good toss by Manu Dinanikara to win. Alexa Stonehouse, uh, she's been uh, very good uh, with the ball. Bold uh, very well. Seven overs done for 37 in the last game as well. So that's uh, a single to Kavindi, takes uh, her off the mark and uh, Sri Lankan scores start moving. One for no loss. So Samadhuni Sansala will be on strike. <coughs> yes, it, it's an interesting move, Ricky. Uh, Sri Lankans have left out here in Hansika. We've done most of the bowling for Sri Lanka. So it will be interesting yes. to see the uh, opportunity. It's definitely opportunity given to... Uh, uh, Rishmi Sanjana and uh, Bal Surya. Rasanti. Yes, uh, Hiruni Hansika did a lot of bowling in the T20 format, but didn't get going with the batting at all. Uh, she hasn't been among the runs for Sri Lanka. The last game picked up two for 38 of a six overs, but I think uh, it's a, it's an opportunity to test the brain's strength to give all the girls a game on this. Uh, 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 in this uh, tournament as well, we didn't see uh, Bala Surya play in the T20s, so she's uh, got an opportunity uh, to play. I think it's a huge opportunity uh, for Bala Surya. She'll be looking uh, for that uh, opportunity, and uh, we had another couple of changes as well. So yes, uh, these uh, players. I mean, they would love to play out there, go out there, play at the Gold International Stadium, and see what they are capable of. And it's a good thing by the uh, coaching staff, the management, uh, to give all uh, the girls an opportunity to play. First over completed, one without loss. It's the other, it's the other half. All right, I'm all to you. Same again. Same forward. Yeah, center. Yeah, we got that. That's not your thoughts. Well, the Sri Lankans against Australia were bowled out for 114 in 44 overs. Sanjana Kavindi was their top scorer with 54. And Hiruni Hansika was 22, not out, but. Uh, Hiruni Hansika been uh, given a rest today. That's nicely played. Wide of cover point. That's going towards the boundary. A long chase. Oh, but the fielder is unable to get at it. So four more runs. Four to the total. Four to San Kavindi. Takes her on to five. And the Sri Lankan total moves on to five. Yes, so she loves the width outside the off stump, uh, Sanjana. We have seen that over and over again as this uh, uh, tournaments ever progressed. And uh, quick to latch on to it. It was not that too short. She sort of played it off the front foot. But uh, superb hand eye coordination. Playing it, in, playing it in front of square. And uh, though the fielder got a hand to it, it still did enough to uh, go over the boundary line. So the first boundary for today's game. Right throughout this uh, tour of Sri Lanka, England and Australia both have been giving opportunities to all of the players. And uh, we have the English side making four changes today. Even the captain has been uh, left out. And Jody Grucock has been uh, leading the side today. As I, I was told uh, also, I think that uh, Josie uh, Grooves, the captain, is carrying a slight injury, which she picked up uh, the other day. So she's uh, decided uh, to not participate in this game. Uh, Grucock getting the opportunity. And once again, England are testing their leadership skills. We saw. Uh, Jones, captain uh, the last T20 uh, in place of uh, Grooves and today we have a Grucock and uh, it's uh, her first time captaining the England under-19 uh, side as well and she's so happy uh, to get these uh, leadership uh, duties. Yes, it was the same with the Australian side too, uh, Ricky. Australian Lucy Hamilton captained a couple of uh, T20 games and it was taken over by Amy Smith 
and uh, they made their changes too in the side, almost uh, four changes in every game, and so with England. So they have given opportunities for each and every player in this uh, tour, which uh, must be their main reason coming into uh, Sri Lanka to give opportunities to their players. Yes, they're trying their best uh, combinations out. We, there's a World Cup coming up in February in 2025 in Malaysia. So giving uh, all these girls the options, uh, the opportunities, uh, trying different positions, uh, playing at uh, different situations of the game and uh, just trying out to see who is good at what and uh, that is what uh, this it's all about it's uh, all about learning it's uh, all about uh, uh, match situations and developing these girls uh, for the future yes, uh, and the sri lankan girls too have followed so given an opportunity to vimukshe balasurya in this game she did not play in any of the t20 games so it's an opportunity for her to, to show her potential. And Sumudu Nisansala have been asked to open the innings. She had not been able to get uh, among the runs, but uh, this is the opportunity for her too. She's off the mark. So England, uh, Sri Lanka, seven for no loss. It's firmly driven, but straight to the extra cover fielder. So two hours gone, it's seven for no loss. So seven for Nola, Sri Lanka, after winning the toss and deciding to bat first. Stonehouse ball one over, giving her one run. So this is the final game in this series, Tri-Nation series, which had uh, six uh, T20 games and three one-day games. Yes, it has been exciting, no doubt about it. We have seen the talent that England, Australia and Sri Lanka possess. And uh, no doubt about it, uh, as the years go by, see some players of these uh, three countries going on to represent uh, their national sides. Uh, certainly some great talent we have seen and uh, some good all-round cricketers. And this is uh, why we have this uh, junior level cricket. And a credit uh, to the three countries as well, Australia and England for sending their teams over and for Sri Lanka cricket for organizing this under-19 uh, T20 series and 50 over series, giving the opportunity uh, for these uh, girls to play. Women's cricket in Sri Lanka is growing. Sri Lanka cricket uh, and the women's uh, the cricket department at Sri Lanka cricket are doing a great job uh, to develop cricket, to find uh, this natural talent, going into the villages, selecting players, uh, conducting coaching camps. There's a lot happening and uh, we should give them the credit uh, uh, for that as well. No doubt, Ricky, this is a great opportunity for the Sri Lankan girls. They have grabbed it with both hands. They did very well in the T20 series, beating England and Australia in the first two games. But then in the second leg of the tournament, uh, they were beaten by both of those teams. And they put up a good fight in the first 50-over uh, game against Australia. Of course, they were beaten by 88 runs, but still they managed to get 140, batted for 44 overs. Their main intention should be to bat the 50 overs. Yes, I think that is the main idea behind it. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, their, their best chances are batting first, putting a score on the board and then putting pressure on the opposition. Uh, so if they can get a decent score, I, I'll tell you, if Sri Lanka can get to 180, you know, that will be a good score for, for them, for a young side who hasn't played 50 over cricket because England is a much stronger side. You saw how they performed in the last game. You'll feel 180 is not enough, certainly. But you never know and uh, that will be a, a fighting effort. Sumudu Nisansela, she's had got opportunities, she's the wicket keeper. She's batted down the order uh, in the T20s in the last game in the 50 over, but hasn't really got going, hasn't scored runs. So she needs uh, to stand up, grab this opportunity and, and, and show the coaches, show the selectors that she's able to perform at this stage. Yes, you came into a good point, which I was talking off mic. Also, Sri Lanka should think of batting the 50 overs and getting 180 runs. That's what they need. They need to get that experience of batting the 50 overs. So, three overs gone. It's nine for Nolas, Nissan Salah on two, and Kavindi on seven.
So Mary Taylor playing the second game, one for 45. Was a touch expensive in that last game, went for runs. So she'll be looking uh, forward uh, to this opportunity. Mary Taylor was very expensive. Uh, Australian batters, uh, Mackeon in particular, went after her. She considered 39 runs, picking up one wicket in the four overs against Australia. And uh, she's uh, looking forward uh, to this opportunity. I'm sure Taylor to make a final impression. The Sri Lankan dug dugout, yes, uh, they'll be very enthusiastic. Oh, that's Blaze through the offside. Straight to the field. I think it's Suren Kumar there. But once again, that was uh, a flowing driver by uh, Kawindi. She loves the width. She loves the offside. That's her strength. Real uh, left hander's uh, shot. And this time, uh, Pierce has the gap. Beautifully played. This time she had to wait for it because the ball was much fuller. But uh, Taylor once again has offered width to Kavindi. And uh, she has executed that shot really well. Just steered it through the uh, two fielders on the offside. And uh, picking up a second boundary. Yes, that's a beautiful shot by Kavindi. There you see the replay of that. Getting it into the gap. Wonderfully played. Puma runs to Kavindi, takes her on to 11, and Sri Lanka moves on to 14. That's a good delivery. Pushed away firmly towards extra cover. A bit of misfielding allows Kavindi to get a single. So 15 on the board for Sri Lanka. Well, Sanjana Kavindi had a good game against the Australians. She got a half century. And she will be definitely wanting to get up a good score today, too. I think uh, for me, she has been the find uh, of uh, the Sri Lanka under 19s out of uh, this uh, T20 and uh, limited over series. Uh, current Sabin, uh, Kawindi. She's been excellent. She's scored runs in the T20s, got them off to a good start, and even in the 50 over format, showing what uh, she's capable of. And uh, yes, uh, she's one that uh, certainly will go forward. There are a few more, of course, but I think uh, she's uh, been uh, very good. She had been playing a couple of attacking shots. That's nicely played this time by Sumbadu Nisan Salah. That's gone to the boundary for four. With given and Nisan Salah getting off the back foot and cutting it past extra cover. So four more runs to her, takes her on to six and the score to 19. Once again, poor bowling by uh, Taylor, Mary Taylor. She hasn't been consistent at all with the new ball. You cannot afford uh, to bowl there in these uh, power playovers. And uh, Sumbadu Nisan Salah did well. Rode the bounce, stood up tall, and hit it into the gap. Similar delivery. This time uh, she decides to leave it alone. Four was completed. Sri Lanka 19 without loss. Sri Lanka 19 for no loss after four overs. Nissan Salah on six and Kavindi on ten, uh, 12. Stone has to continue. She, he, she has bowled two overs, given away three runs. But Mary Taylor on the other end had been a bit expensive. Kavindi is on strike, will be facing to Stonehouse. Bowling left arm over the wicket. Good delivery, well pitched up to Kavindi. Kavindi has been playing a lot of good attacking shots. She plays attacking cricket. 
And Nissan's last role might be to provide as much as possible strike to carve in the. Although Nissan Sala got a boundary in the previous over. Yeah, again, yeah, yeah. nicely firmly played towards the extra cover. Carvindi playing with a very straight bat. Four point three eight, not a bad start for Sri Lanka. Run rate is at four point three eight, nineteen for no loss. We are in the fifth over. So Stonehouse uh, left arm over the wicket again. This time to Carvindi. That's oh, right outside the off time. Carvindi goes for a drive. Didn't get hold of it. She has to be careful with that. Uh, get the feet in line. You see nowhere near the ball. Just trying to swing it away. Better delivery by Stone now uh, Carvindi deciding to push it on the offside. Good girls, good girls. Sri Lanka 19 for no loss. Carvindi is on 12 and uh, Nissan Salah on 6. Nissan Salah's role will be definitely Ricky to rotate the strike and give Carvindi more of the opportunity because Carvindi is playing good attacking cricket. Yes, sir. Uh, that's a role I think uh, Nissan Salah has to have a lot of patience. I think uh, sometimes uh, she probably plays one or two uh, a shot too many. And uh, this is a learning opportunity. She will learn as it goes by. She has to realize there's 45 overs remaining after this. There's a lot of balls. And you know, if she bats for just uh, 10 overs, she would have done well. So she has to take it uh, passage by passage, five overs at a time, ball by ball. You know, take a lot of time, take a patience. That's well played. Just a single. But uh, that was uh, sweetly timed uh, by uh, Nissan Salah. Good start by Sri Lanka. Five overs completed, 21 without loss. Sri Lanka 21 for no loss after five overs. Taylor to continue. Ball two overs given away 16 runs. A little bit expensive. Carving the on 13. Nissan Salah on seven. It's well pitched up to Nissan Salah pushing it on the offside. As we say, good morning to Dambika Himanta. Good morning, Dambika. Enjoying your stay in gold, but today is the last day, isn't it? Very good morning, Koli. Yes, our stay is going to be ending. It's a fine cricket in the middle. We've enjoyed every bit of it and the surroundings. This time down the leg side, neatly glanced. I think that one came off the pad. Yes, four leg buys. Sri Lanka wouldn't mind. Definitely. Decent start. And it's a gorgeous day, Polly. In comparison to previous days we had, there you go, we have another look. Very close for being called uh, wide, but this time came off the pad. Four more runs. Sri Lanka moving along really nicely. Yes, that's nicely played again by uh, Nissan Salah. Nissan Salah getting the opportunity. It looks like she's growing in confidence in every delivery because she was pretty nervous the other day when we saw her batting. But now she's growing in confidence. That's exactly what the the team management has done, thrown her out to open the innings, to provide support for Kavindi. Her role will be to just rotate the strike as much as possible and give Kavindi more of the strike. There's a wide signal there that's outside the Oz town, wide of the line. So one more run to the total. Texas go on to 26. Like you mentioned today, the jump for a Nissan Salah would be to stay, occupy the crease and rotate strike. There you go. Today, relatively confident looking approach by Nissan Salah. 
haven't made significant contribution throughout the T20 series as well as one day against Australia. Today, both the teams looking for their first win. For that fact, Sri Lanka needing a good start at the toss. Skipper mentioned reaching 230. Opening stand always paved the way. So Nissan Salah, this is her opportunity. I'm sure she'll be grabbing that opportunity and make a good score. Yes, if Sri Lanka can come up to 230, definitely they would have done pretty well. They won the toss, quite positive, deciding to bat first. If they can go up to make 230, they've done a very good job. Well, because they lack experience, this is the type of opportunity they got to take. They got to win the toss, bat first, and try to bat the 50 overs. They can get 230, and well, then they definitely they can put a lot of pressure on the English batters. Yes, they do have talented batters. They can bat for 50 overs. They can definitely work for a score about 230. Complete the six Sri Lanka, 26 for none. Like you mentioned, Polly, it's about making the most out of it. Opportunities like this comes once in a while. So Sri Lankan batters, it's about spending time in the middle. They know they are up against a very strong England unit. The likes of Alexa Stonehow, there you go, moving the ball away from the left-hander. And she's quite capable of slipping one across the right hand Nissan Salah aware of it Stacy is turned out quite economical today bowling a third uh, fourth over just five runs coming off uh, the three overs ball already carving the 13 of 19 deliveries and Nissan Salah seven that's down the leg side you wait and see it's a wide call so that uh, will take the Sri Lankan total on to 28 Three wides ball up to now by England. The day before yesterday against Australia was the same case. They considered something like 28 extras. Eventually paving way for Australians to walk on to a very close game at the end. Australia was moving along really nicely while Kate Pelly and La Rosa was batting that century partnership. Just something to learn for Sri Lankans. Once the partnership in progress, the opposition straight away under pressure. I'm sure these two young girls in the middle, today they are looking very determined. Yes, that was a wonderful partnership for the first wicket. And then later on England came back into the game. That was uh, for the fourth wicket, isn't it, Damika? Kate Pali and... Uh, Katie Jones, it was Katie Jones and Mary Taylor put on a partnership. Anyway, the Australians got 240 at the end. Oh, that was screamed away. Through extra cover region, beautifully done. Kavindi, she's on the move. Half centurion from the previous game against Australia today, looking fantastic. It's Katie Jones and. Uh, Mary Taylor put up a good partnership for England and Australia in reply had a very good partnership uh, by uh, Kate Perry and Elona La Rosa who was the man of the match uh, in the yesterday, a day before yesterday's game. So Kavin the takes a total on to 17 and Nissan Salah on 7 and Sri Lankan total moves on to 31. At this stage Stonehouse trying to entice Kavin the to a booming off drive outside the Ostam, moving away from her. This time, very smartly, Kavindi lets it go. Kavindi batted for a longer period, lengthy period, and she knows how the wicket is behaving. This is, of course, a new track, but very similar in characteristics. That, com that single completes the seventh, Sri Lanka, 32 for no loss. Thank you. 
There you go straight away. Projected scores looking very impressive. Uh, if they go at the same rate, they make the mark. That's where they want to be. They go at 6 and over. Of course, to 90 is possible. Early days. So I think they would be eyeing to score something around 4 or 5 runs per over and moving along really nicely. Towards the end, perhaps if they get a chance to launch, that should be the plans. There you go. Sri Lankan descent. Amaruta Surin Kumar comes into the attack, right arm medium. Well, as far as the Sri Lankans are concerned, they got to keep their wickets intact. That's the main idea behind it. They, if they have their wickets intact, they can go for the runs later in the innings. So that Surin, uh, Surin Kumar first down, delivery down the leg side, worked away nicely by Kavindi towards the Squalic boundary, gets a single. Texas go on to 33 and Kavindi moves on to 19. There's no doubt, I'm sure the instruction from the coaching staff is to spend time in the middle. If you can let your top five to occupy the crease for a large portion of 50 overs, I'm sure Sri Lanka will get up to a very good score. And I've been seen yesterday, a score of around 240. You can put the opposition under pressure. So when Kuma, way outside the off stump, now the wide score moves up to 34. Run rate at this stage 4.74. Fantastic. Sri Lanka should be happy about it. Nissan Salah, meanwhile, spent time in the middle now. It's up to her to make the most of the opportunity given. Yes, Nissan Salah batted at number three in the previous game. Sri Lanka. That's another white ball by Surin Kumar. She got to concentrate on her line. Well, Nissan Salah, we were talking about Nissan Salah batted at number three in the previous game against Australia. But uh, she couldn't get going. But now today she has had a good knock at the moment. She's been there. This is the eighth over in progress. So a lot. Uh, she will, might be wanting to show her potential today. She got seven of 19 deliveries, but her main intention will be her job role, in fact, will be to stay there as long as possible and provide uh, Kavin the more of the strike. And we have every reason to believe Nissan Salai is capable of doing that. Very compact looking, solid techniques. So unless she makes a mistake, she can stay there long enough and do the job for Sri Lanka. Surin Kumar, meanwhile, after two wides, settling into good lines and lengths. Surin Kumar, because uh, Surin Kumar's uh, dad has been playing a lot of cricket in Sri Lanka. As the other day, Ricky was telling, uh, he has the highest score in the Chapna big match, uh, St. John's Chapna versus Chapna Central. Scored 145 in uh, 1990 in their big match. So that is still the highest uh, individual score in that big match. Suren Kumar, of course, cricket runs in the family. Three sisters following her footsteps. Always good to see someone relying on the seam movement rather than the pace. Just above a gentle medium. Not trying to do anything extravagant. Out swingers, in swingers, mixing the pace. So far has done a good job. She'll be definitely hoping to do a good job for England today. England, like Sri Lanka, after their first win in the series. It's firmly driven by Kavendi, but straight to the extra cover fielder. No run. So that's the end of the eighth over. Sri Lanka gone off to a good start at 36 for no loss.
England skipper getting ready to bring in the second bowling change. Sri Lanka off to a very decent start. Kavindi on 19. Nisansala looking good on 8. Sophia Smell coming into the attack. Very good outing against Australia. 10 overs, 32 for 1 wicket. Very economical. Put the brakes on Aussie scoring. Yes, definitely she did bowl well in that game. But that short and his answer like gets off the back foot and pulls it away. But they reach a field that they are right on the mid wicket boundary. Just a single. So taking the score on to 37. Nisansala moves on to 9. Well, Dambika, we were talking about uh, Suren Kumar's dad. Even Suren Kumar's mother had been playing cricket in England. And so she's definitely coming from a cricketing family. And the sisters, as you mentioned uh, just a couple of moments ago, also have taken up to cricket. So that's definitely a great cricketing family. Oh, that's good to see. That's probably the reason why Suren Kumar done so well, done well enough to get picked for strong English outfit. Proud moment, of course. I'm sure she'll do her best to be in the World Cup, Scott, next yes, February. Like Australian coach mentioned yesterday, the intention of conducting tournaments like these is to give international exposure for these young under-19 girls to perform well in the World Cup. This time driven down nicely and picking oh yes, that one gone straight to middle fielder who comes around, picks it. No opportunity for a single. Smale, meanwhile, settling into good lines and length. Someone who doesn't turn the ball too much, but very accurate. It's another who nicely worked to be on the leg side and a very quick single. Good bit of running between the wickets, between these two batters, Nissan Salai and Kavindi. Takes Kavindi on to 20 and the score to 38. Definitely these two batters have done good for Sri Lanka, put up a good partnership, 38 runs for the first wicket and at a run rate of 4.30. This is exactly what the Sri Lankans uh, needed. And Nissan Salah being promoted to the opener stall. That's worked away nicely. That's going towards the fine leg boundary, but there is a fielder there. That's Suren Kumar comes round. That's the end of that over. Nine gone. It's 39 for Nolos. Nissan Salah, meanwhile, off to double figures, 10 of 23, looking comfortable. Now, she's working on her confidence. I'm sure if she stays long enough, definitely there's opportunity. Wicket is a very good one. Suren Kumar, after conceding four runs in her first over. Oh, two extra cover really nicely. Slowly but steadily, now we are starting to see Nissan Salah getting comfortable out there in the middle. Especially down the leg side, worked a few deliveries and picked up singles. We've spoken about dot deliveries right from the start of the T20 series. I'm sure Nissan Salah and Kavindi will have a plan to counter that issue. Yes, uh, definitely Nissan Salah is batting with a lot of confidence now. She has moved into double figures. She's on 10. Well, she's been asked to open uh, in this game. She's done pretty well. She was looking nervous during the T20 series and the first game. But today, she's come to open the innings with Kavindi. Got off to a good start. Faced 26 deliveries. Facing the number of deliveries is uh, not an uh, issue for her because she got to hang around there and provide those uh, singles and work it into twos and, and provide more opportunity for Kavindi. There you are, she drives it but gets an outside edge that's going towards the third man boundary for four. Well, the field there was torn out if I'm not mistaken. Tried to cut it off but uh, didn't get to it. So four more runs to Nissan Salah, takes her on to 14. Good shot. Did came off the outer half. Stone out was 
touch squarer than he should have been. Diving effort in vain. Good cricket all around. Not the bad piece of bowling. Just outside the off stump. Now Nissan Salah. Picking up boundaries. It's very important both the batters picking up singles and keep the scoreboard moving. That's the issue Sri Lanka had. Once you're stagnate in the same position, strange mindset appears and uh, obviously they make mistakes. That's what we saw from Sri Lanka against Australia, scoring just 140 runs. Thank to that partnership for the 10th wicket. And today, Sri Lanka just cannot leave it to the tail enders or to the lower middle order. It's about top order, batting major portion of 50 overs. Dot ball to complete the 10th Sri Lanka, 43 for none. So 43 for Nola Sri Lanka after 10 overs. They see some beautiful pictures once again from the drone camera here the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. Wonderful sight to be at. So that's uh, the umpire signaling the end of the first power play. 10 overs gone. Sri Lanka 43 for no loss. Definitely a very good start for Sri Lanka. Nissan Salah on 14 and Kamin the on 20. They put on a very good start to uh, Dambika. There's no doubt about that. The best start perhaps Sri Lanka had. In the T20s as well as the limited over series. This one was fuller. Gently pushed away for us. Dot ball. Smell. Very clever operator. Someone who doesn't give too much width outside the off stump. Always attacking the stumps. Trying to get something out of the mistakes made by the batters. Nissan Salah. That's her best outing we've seen so far in the series. And Kavindi, as usual, moving along real nicely. As I once again say, welcome to Ricky Sims. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Damika. It's uh, been a positive start, isn't it? It's uh, lovely to see the Sri Lankans bat out their ten times to the level over 43 without loss. And uh, Kavindi, as expected, is among the runs. But I'm happy to see Nissan Salah contribute. She's uh, shown a lot of character, a lot of temperament and uh, maturity. And this is what you want to see, this... Uh, young girls uh, learning quickly Keep learning from their mistakes and uh, giving their best best uh, shot against a strong england uh, uh, lineup and uh, yes i hope this uh, uh, partnership will grow from strength to strength and they can uh, bat for a longer period because they're going at a very decent run rate 4.03 wickets in hand later on they could accelerate so it's uh, very important on this surface here at goal that the set up set batters try to play a long innings What's good about these two batters out there in the middle? They got through the nerves. Now they have settled. Smell in the middle of a very good over five dot balls. Nissan Salah in particular. Her contributions yes, definitely very vital for Sri Lanka's chances. The first maiden of the game by Smell after 11, Sri Lanka 43 for none. There you go. No wickets have fallen. Eventually, one over went for 10 runs. Steady progress. That's exactly what Sri Lanka is after. I'm sure so far, coaching staff as well as the team management is happy. Sri Lanka, happy dugout. England will be uh, a bit concerned. They're bold. Uh, given nine extras in the first 11 overs, that includes five wides. So. That uh, will certainly be a worry for them. They will have to uh, quickly adjust. Just the more wide snowballs you bowl, the extra deliveries as well. Suren Kumar, Amruta 
Surin Kumar just uh, playing a first uh, 50 over game here, yeah, played a couple of uh, the T20s. Uh, uh, Young all rounder, bats in the top order, pulls a bit of medium pace. Stand well timed, but straight to the field of Perrine at the edge of the 30 yard circle. We've spoken enough about her bubbly character sending out energetic vibes wherever she is i was just going to mention you took the words out of my mouth that they make energetic is it in the field when you have players like that motivates the others as well uh, when you have a couple of them throwing themselves around you could see uh, cheering on the bowlers cheering on the fielders that's what you need and uh, especially in uh, these hot and humid conditions i mean you can really your moral could drop down quickly when there is a long partnership but you need uh, those kind of characters uh, to keep you going very cheerful of course Zuren Kumar as well very athletic looking moving along really nicely so before play I saw her a ball in there warming up doing her drills and I think she was uh, really looking forward uh, to this game to this opportunity those are the uh, tourists are visiting with this England side they are watching uh, this uh, game as well players parents families friends Suren Kumar now settling into good lines and lens and as you mentioned this live coverage available to you on channel I across the globe through Sri Lanka cricket official YouTube channel Sri Lanka in action we extend the invitation to all the cricket lovers to come and support them this is much better a fuller delivery another made back-to-back -back mids by England tightening their screws after 12 Sri Lanka 43 for none the small crowd the English uh, supporters they have been here from game number one from Humboldt to, to goal haven't they enjoyed the cricket they have been uh, really supportive to the England side uh, Stonehouse four was for 11 Taylor once again expensive but uh, Suren Kumar and uh, Smil Smil picked up one for 32 of a 10 overs the other day she was a uh, really uh, good very accurate didn't give anything away at all put a lot of uh, pressure tightening the screws uh, on the Australian batsman uh, batters uh, two days ago slide mix up but uh, comfortably through at the end bit of hesitancy between the two players there was a clear opportunity for the second but two batters out there in the middle always uh, almost made a mockery out of it not, not clear communication we'll have another look gently pushed away through the gap I think this could happen when you haven't played a lot of cricket uh, together as well. Uh, Damika, we were mentioning these girls have uh, come together fairly newly. They haven't played 50 over cricket together at all. They're coming from different uh, schools of the country, different parts of the country. So they will take time to adjust as a unit. And uh, yes, but uh, they have done well uh, uh, so far and they're progressing well. On top of that, at school level, they play a 30 over tournament. On, so, this format you have to call alien for them. It's about adjusting, big adjustments, of course. Neatly tucked away for a single. The sons are looking good. Huge adjustments, in fact, isn't it? Uh, you mentioned from 30 overs to 50 overs. But then the opposition. I mean, uh, this is quality opposition where you, you will not get uh, even 50% of this at the school level. I, I, I feel not even 50%. So this is uh, like, uh, you know, just uh, scaling up uh, the ladder very, very quickly. Trying to play England or Australia. Yeah, and uh, credit to our girls. They haven't given up. You know, and, and they, they have stood the battle. They have uh, faced the opposition well. They have been defeated maybe in a couple of games. But uh, remember, they won two T20s as uh, well, and that was remar a remarkable effort. And uh, yes, they, they have played good cricket, no doubt about it. They have played a lot of good cricket uh, over the last couple of weeks. As you mentioned right at the beginning of the series, it will be a stern test for them against two top positions of the world. 
England, Australia, right on top here, when it comes to women's cricket. It's coming here, girls. So it's about testing their metal against the best. This time, good piece of fielding by ever reliable Davina Perrin. Sri Lanka in no hurry. Yes, That's what so. I love yes, to see so. from them. Another dot ball, just four runs of it. Sri Lanka should be happy after 13 47 for Nolos. There you go. Two maidens back to back. Sri Lanka still not in any hurry. No rash shots. Playing each delivery on its merit. Which is what Sri Lanka coaching staff exactly expecting from these two young openers. Of course, as a pair for the first time. I'm sure Coach Mayesh Wilkinger will be happy with this uh, start of his fields. They'll get a couple of uh, runs uh, comfortably. Should have probably got another one. Settle uh, to uh, two. Yes, uh, Coach Mayesh Wilkinger will be very happy with, with the performance. I mean, uh, I'm sure he's done a lot of hard work working with these girls, trying to prepare their mindset, trying to prepare them uh, tactically, technically for the 50 over format. And uh, yes, this is a positive approach started off this game after winning the toss, especially after a, a big defeat, you may call it, 88 runs in the last game against Australia. So coming back here strongly is uh, certainly a positive uh, effort. What I was going to mention as well, uh, Damika, the other day I had a chat with uh, Amy Smith, the Australian uh, uh, captain after the game. Come back to that. And uh, then I asked her, I, I, I said that Australia looked very clinical in the 50 overs than what they played in the T20 cricket. They looked a totally different side. And she said, oh, in Australia, whatever cricket they play, women's cricket is mostly 50 over cricket. So they are better suited for the 50 over format. They are better prepared. They know their game better than the T20 format. So it's the other way around here. Uh, in Sri Lanka, we, we will prefer the uh, shorter format for these girls. So adjusting to these situations for any team is a tough task. But uh, they have done well. Absolutely. Credit must be given to Sri Lanka cricket organizing a grand tournament of this scale to bring women's cricket to the forefront. Of course, women's cricket spreading across the country. Most of these youngsters are from outstations. I'm sure there you go. Good to see the young kids, isn't it? Uh, just on the green banks there, enjoying the game. Isan Salah picking up another single, a 50 run partnership. Super stuff by the two openers. They share the strike equally. 42 deliveries to Kav in the 41 to Nissan Sela. But uh, both have uh, batted well. 50 of 83. That's what you wanted against uh, the uh, new ball. And they provided uh, the platform. Against Aussies, they were bowled out for 140 today. Vast improvement yesterday. We had the opportunity of looking at them doing their practices at nets. And they were focused intensity was up and today it was clearly evident they are here with a positive mindset once again booming drive straight to extra cover region to complete the 14th sri lanka 50 for none so the surface is a really good one for Barry, no doubt about it. And uh, you need to get a, a good score on the board uh, to defend. It's not easy. There will be a, a bit of turn and grip for the bowlers. One ball leading, but, uh, just one ball. It's going to be, uh, that's for the spinners when they come into the game. But uh, for the faster bowlers, it's not easy conditions. Goal has never been easy conditions. You have to mix up your pace. You have to have a lot of skill to try and get wickets on these uh, surfaces but only wicket to wicket stump to stump you know being disciplined is very crucial but uh, the Sri Lankan batters they play the situation well they're going at uh, 3.57 you'll take that any time for a new team that's playing 50 over cricket for the yeah, what is just the second game a new format to them for these Go young uh, girls to take uh, 14 overs 50 runs anytime on any day 
As I just mentioned, there's no terrors on the track. Good batting pitch. It's about Sri Lanka spending time in the middle. And especially, we saw, even though Australia and England were very much yes, experienced yes, 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 yes. teams when it comes to this format, there were quite a few mistakes were made by both the teams. And I'm sure Sri Lanka on, would be hoping for them to make those mistakes and to capitalize, they need their best batters to be out down the middle. That's the whole point. Oh, that was beautifully played. Square cut. Perfect. Four more runs. Nissan Sala moves to 22. You know, that's why she's been persisted with. They know that uh, she has the talent. It's just uh, showcasing that uh, talent and uh, bringing it out. And uh, Sumudhi is showing us why. For sure, it was wide. She had to wait for it to get it uh, behind that uh, point field. And uh, perfectly executed. Very good batting. If you've made this, if you've made this far, means you are talented. It's about going out there in the middle against the best, expressing yourself. Nisan Salah grabbed the opportunity. So far, looking good. I'm sure Sri Lankan supporters will be hoping her to go on to make a big one like Kavindi did against Australia. Kavindi, meanwhile, a little quiet. 23 of 43 deliveries once again beautifully cut away for another boundary oh no not quite good piece of fielding sliding effort prevent it that one going past the boundary line and two more runs to the total i think they will refer that one the third umpire i thought it was pulled inside the ropes so Quite okay. safe at the end. And uh, that was a, a good shot once again. Uh, the earlier one was behind point. This one was in front of point. Similar sort of a delivery. But uh, two different shots uh, from Nissan Salah. At this time a shot and uh, goes for the pull. Just a single. She's growing with confidence as uh, the game progresses. I'm sure Nissan Salah should be mindful of keeping that one down it initially she was trying to go aerial luckily Third, south. reaching the field of the bounce now Nisan Salah overtaking Kavindi for the first time there you go could have easily lofted to the fielder the deep Soren Kumar was lurking there this time straight to extra cover fielder for another dot ball after 15, Sri Lanka 57 for no loss. There you go, the bar chart. After the power play overs, steady two overs by to the com box thanks Amita uh, Damikra yes uh, Sri Lanka 57 for no loss after 15 overs Nissan Salah on 25 she's taken the lead over from Kavin Diu who's on 23 well this little inning will definitely do a world of good for Nissan Salah all what she need was that confidence she has the potential she has there you are driving firmly down towards uh, deep mid on they get a single she is prepared to play the shots now. She was in a struggle in the previous game and even in the T20. She didn't get that runs, but today she's been batting really well. Always pleasing to see. I'm sure the supporters for Sri Lanka must be enjoying the efforts of two young batters out there in the middle doing the stuff for Sri Lanka. Nisan Zala on 26, Kavin D23. Suren Kumar, meanwhile, in a fifth over relatively economical and this is good i'm sure sri lanka should take great deal of confidence out of it and move forward take each run on offer especially picking up singles i'm start to noticing something special about these two youngsters oh 
perfect square cut this time by Kavindi. Kavindi was quiet for a while. That was outside the old stumps. Beautifully cut away for another boundary. Sri Lanka 62 for none. You see Kavindi. Suren Kumar giving a lot of width for her. And Kavindi is definitely not going to let those two go. Wonderful square cut played between short third man and the cover point fielder. That's going to the boundary for four. No chance for the third man to come round it. Been good batting beast by these two batters, Sri Lankan openers. 62 on the board. Runs coming well. Not in a hurry to play their shots. They've been batting pretty well. Run rate of 3.9 something. But still, they've been doing pretty good. But well, all what they got to do is now to bet on. Bet on till the next water break. Of course, the first water break must be quite soon. We are in the 16th over. But think of batting to the next water break. That's what they got to do at this moment. That's firmly driven again. But straight to the field then. And we've spoken about series of mistakes by English team against Australia. I'm sure mistakes will appear. When those opportunities are provided, Sri Lanka should be ready. And now they are in a better state of mind than at the start of this game. Much more confident. Runs are flowing. Singles on offer. They are taking. And after 16, 62 for Nolos. Very impressive. We've been surrounded by the Indian Ocean from three side Gaul Peninsula. Historic Gaul Fort and beautiful cricket ground. This is the place to be. Sri Lanka in action. 67 dots still. I'm sure as the innings progresses, Sri Lanka will work on that. Seven fours, uh, three twos, 19 singles. Not a bad start for Sri Lanka. 62 for no loss after 16 overs. Well, the Sri Lankans started off very positively, even winning the toss and deciding to bat first was a positive mind frame. They came into bat. They threw some of the Nissan Salah who has not been among the runs to open the innings and give her the opportunity to come good. And uh, she has grabbed it with both hands. She's 27 or 48 deliveries. Kavindi was very good against the Australians, continuing her good run. She's also 27 or 49 deliveries. And Sri Lanka doing pretty well at 63 for no loss after 16 overs. Mail to continue that. I consider uh, job not even halfway done. Oh, that's given. Although that one was sliding down the leg side, but what matters is the umpire's call. Sri Lanka loses their first wicket. Kavindi, who batted beautifully, 27 of 50 deliveries. And she got to go. Sri Lanka loses their first. So that's the fall of the first Sri Lankan wicket. Kavindi, a judge LPW to smile. For 27, Smile was good, uh, b b quite accurate. Uh, in a couple of overs, she bowled. She bowled uh, 4.2 overs, just giving away 15 runs. And she gets a wicket of carving the trying to work it across. Might like to have a replay of that dismissal. 63 runs for the first wicket. This is the best partnership Sri Lanka had in the series, the Tri Nation series. And his son's allowed 27 and carving the also 27. There you see the replay of that delivery. But this is the highlights of that partnership. Carving the getting off the mark with a boundary. Very nicely played. So there you are. Carving the set the tone at the start. But uh, his son's allowed was very quick. Later in the inning, there you see the boundary of shortest delivery that worked away, but it was signal leg by. Runs are coming uh, quite easily for the Sri Lankans. That's a beautiful cover drive by Kavindi. Beating the fielders. There you are, Nissan Salah giving shot to shot. That's another very good effort by Stone now there in the boundary. That's going towards the cow point boundary again. This time it was Nissan Salah getting right behind the ball and cutting it over. So Sri Lanka, the first ball to break is 63 on the board and they lost the wicket of Kavindi being urged LBW. 
chose male. So that is the first wicket of Sri Lanka. 63 for one. I'm sure Sri Lankans might be pretty happy down there. So... Well, uh, it's the uh, drinks break here between uh, England and uh, Sri Lanka. Joining us for a brief chat is uh, Tilly Cordin Coleman. How are you? Are you enjoying the game? Oh, hi. I'm good, thank you. I'm loving the game. Girls are looking good. Um, applying nice pressure. Good wicket. Hopefully we get another one soon. Sri but Lanka have got off uh, to a, a good start, uh, isn't it, after winning the toss? Yeah, but I um, think yeah, they're going well. I think England are going well as well, though. Looking good, keeping applying the pressure. Um, you Good haven't uh, played uh, this game, but are you happy with your performances? How has the surfaces been for a left-arm spinner? Oh, um, I've absolutely loved bowling the surfaces, coming out so nicely. Um, also coming onto the bat when I've batted just briefly. But um, yeah, I'm loving it, loving the surfaces. Groundsman have done a great job. How has uh, the uh, tour to Sri Lanka been for you so far? Unbelievable. S experience of a lifetime, lifetime. so many memories. Um, we've been snorkeling, golf fort been to safari i've loved every moment and uh looking forward to come back to sri lanka one day maybe in england colors yeah absolutely that's that's the goal so we'll see how it goes well uh, the drinks break has been uh, short and uh, sweet thank you uh, Atili. thank you for joining us thank and, you and uh, wishing you the best of luck going forward thank you it is caught in kulma been having a very wonderful uh, series here in Sri Lanka. The G20 series as well as the one day series. The you see the last wicket. Carvindi trying to work it away down the leg side, hitting us somewhere around the middle and leg. The umpire thought the ball would hit the stumps, giving out LPW. So that is the fall of the first wicket for Sri Lanka at 63. And uh, Vimokshi Balasuria making her debut. Debut, she has come and got the single. So she's off the mark. I thought Carvindi might consider herself unlucky. I initially thought that one was slipping down the leg side, but unfortunately, Carvindi no more. The debutant, Vimoksha Balasurya, already got off the mark. Always pleasing to see. Smell, very smart operator, always stump to stump, ripping the benefits out and picking up the first wicket. England were made to work hard for their first wicket, which is always good to see from Sri Lankans. This time playing across the line, going down the leg side, it seems. Oh no, that two was given out. Sri Lanka losing both the openers in a short space. This is not ideal. So that's again 64 for two for Sri Lanka and the Sansal of the batsman walking out. There you see the replay of that. Well, pitching in line, no doubt. Well, that would have gone and hit uh, middle and leg, definitely. So that would have been out. So the Sansal are walking back. She's played well. She batted well, no doubt about it. Wonderful 27 runs coming off 50 deliveries. Smell again getting a second wicket. Sri Lanka 64 for 2 after 17 overs. Sri Lanka having lost two wickets within a space of a single. Manudinana Kara has to work off at number four. Experienced batter, left hander, of course, quite capable of scoring boundaries. Played really well in the T20 series. Sri Lanka all of a sudden will need to some do some serious rebuilding. Outstanding opening wicket stand and two wickets in no time. England right back in it. Yes, definitely England and come back into the game with 64 for 2 after 17 overs. Sri Lankan captain Manudinana Kara walked into bat and uh, she's been joined by the debutant Vimuksha Balasuria. There's the average of 10, just one game played. 
one of the Nana Kara looked good as a batter during the T20 series, but uh, she was unable to get her going actually. She got 120, if I remember right, in a T20 game. So she must be wanting to bat a long inning today. That's flighted well hit by Vimukshibala, sorry, but straight into the hands of the middle fielder. So that's the end of her. Sri Lanka losing their way at the moment. 64 for 3. Balasuri going for 1. That's poor batting. Flighted, invited straight away. Balasuri taken the bait. Goes aerial and perishes. There was no need of quick runs for Sri Lanka. They lost two quick wickets and all they need is to build another partnership. Nicely flighted and equally well taken. England picking up three wickets within a space of a single which means they are now dictating terms. Sri Lanka will have to do some serious rebuilding. So it's uh, Dev Mimi Hunger coming in at number five. No doubt Dev Mimi Hunger had a good G20 series. She might be wanting to bring it into the 50 over format too. She is not able to get any runs uh, in the game against the Australians. She managed only four runs there. They you see in that just a game, four runs, four average, but still early days. But she had a very good T20 series, getting some runs. She might be wanting to convert that into the 50-over format too. Sri Lanka are getting off to a good start for our first wicket partnership of 63 runs, and then suddenly losing their way, losing three quick wickets, and England been brought back into the game. Sophia Snell getting two of those, and Abali just. Uh, in the very first delivery, getting the wicket of uh, Vimukshi Balasuriya, who's making her debut. As I say, good morning to Ricky, who has joined back again. Yes, uh, Pauline, that's unfortunate for Sri Lanka. After an excellent start, they have lost uh, three quick wickets. Now, this is the problem I think uh, they would have. I, I remember talking to you before we started Coms off here, and I mentioned, you know, there will be a good partnership or two, but then uh, keeping that uh, momentum, keeping that... Uh, uh, thing going for the entire 50 overs is something Sri Lanka would struggle because these are young players and uh, all 11 are not uh, good as each other while you have a, a couple of uh, really good players that uh, the others may be have not matured yet uh, or, or have not got that experience as yet so this could be the problem and now they lost three quick wickets they badly need another partnership two of their better players two of their more experienced players, Captain Nanekare and the Wianga in the uh, centre and I think uh, they will have to bat long. They should look to bat at least another 15 overs. You know, the runs will come. This was that last week at Balasuria. In her debut, this is a debut game for in any format for the Sri Lankan under 19s. She would have been very nervous out there. It's a loose shot just driving through the line and uh, England have come back uh, strongly. It's definitely pick, picking up three quick wickets. There were 63 for no loss at one stage, Sri Lanka, and uh, 64 for three at the moment. It's a good opportunity for the Sri Lankan batters. No doubt Ricky Sri Lanka deciding to bat first was to grab that opportunity and try to bat the 50 overs. They got off to a good start. They should have been just continuing the, the same way rather than going for any rash strokes. So 18 overs gone, 64 for three. Nanakara and Wehanga both yet to open their accounts. There is uh, those wonderful uh, pictures uh, coming to you. And, uh, we must much to mention a lot of hard work uh, by uh, our videographers, cameramen, our drone camera done by Akila. It's been wonderful. He's given us some amazing uh, pictures. Akila has done a lot of hard work bringing those uh, drone pictures and of course uh, not forgetting our behind the scenes, our production crew. Uh, they're doing a lot of hard work to bring these uh, pictures yeah, as well. Love it, no easy task. Really 
really good well, from Aussie really girls. Or, or getting a, a cricket match on here. Yeah. England will be much happier chatting uh, to Tilly Coleman at that uh, drinks break when they have got the first wicket. She said, we are hoping to get another one. We should get another one uh, quickly and they have got two more now. So they'll be much uh, happier as uh, that's run down to the boundary. Uh, is that uh, leg bias or wides? It's given as bat. Well, I thought that missed everything. But umpire Bandarasa signaled as... Uh, Oh, beg your pardon, umpire Pradeep Udawate signaled as, as uh, runs. So Nane Kara will take that. Yes, that's Amanda Di Nane Kara working it away down yes, the sir, leg side. Yes, Smell on the other hand have been bowling pretty economically and also getting the wickets. She got two wickets for 20 runs. Uh, this is her sixth over. Nane Kara with that boundary was off the mark. Sri Lanka depends a lot on these two experienced players. That's a foolish delivery. Nanakara trying to drive, didn't get hold of it. Well, these two England spinners have kept it tight. Uh, Smale and Lee was just uh, brought into the attack. Uh, had a maiden wicket the previous over. The wicket of uh, Mukshibala Surya, who's making her debut. That's short and worked oh, away on the on side, but uh, no run there. Good bit of a bowling by a smell indeed. A tall left arm orthodox spinner. Wearing the ball well. All, all what the Sri Lankan batters should do is they should not to worry about the runs on the ball. They should think of batting the swifty overs. Gain a lot of experience in playing the full innings, full quarter of innings. That's worked away nicely down the leg side. Going towards the fine leg boundary. There is a fielder there. To get a single. Nanakara moves on to 5 and the score to 69. So 19 overs gone. It's 69 for 3. Let's have a look at the wickets that has fallen up to now. Well, that is the first wicket. Uh, that's uh, uh, Sanjana Kavindi being trapped at LPW. And then again, is Sansala following in the same fashion. LPW to smell and here with Mukshibala. So
Sri Lanka lost those wickets. But they are now settled down like a pit. Final number four, Ravens, Mayla. 64 for three now, 73 for three. Nanakara getting all those nine runs. Vyanga still to open and count. You yeah, see the beautiful picture surrounding the Gaul International Cricket Stadium here in the southern part of Sri Lanka. Smell to continue. Yes, bowling a seventh over, two for 21, her bowling figures. She's done a very good job up to now. Nanakara and Vihanga trying to rebuild the Sri Lankan innings. Two for 21. Smail has been outstanding. She was there the other day as well. And, uh, she uses her height really well. I, I mentioned it the other day. It's not often we see tall left arm spinners. The last really tall, there was a, has been a couple. Daniel Vittori always comes to mind in the men's game. And Atsa Patel for India is a quite a tall left arm spinner as well. But uh, yes, a smell. And uh, it's very difficult uh, uh, when you come from that angle as well. She goes wide off the crease, coming round the wicket. And if you get a bit of turn, it's never easy. Yes, Pauline, as you were going to tell me something. Yeah, I was telling about uh, Prabhat Jaisuri, a Sri Lankan, also quite tall, left arm spinner, done quite well for Sri Lanka. Smell two for 22. Yes, I uh, was going to hear at the shortest of them all, uh, the, the best left arm spinner of them all. Uh, oh, so I think, uh, we might have Is heard of some South African spinner called Paul Adams. Chinaman, but, not orthodox. But, uh, shorter than Rangan Herat, a left arm spinner. Yeah, he was magical, isn't it, at that time in the 90s? Oh! A lot tried to bowl like him, that never could. Good self! He was a real mystery. It was so hard to pick. And uh, yes, uh, I was uh, chatting to the other left arm spinner uh, earlier, uh, uh, Corin uh, Coleman. And she said that she just loves bowling on these surfaces. Yes, I It's good been self. a pleasure to bowl on these surfaces and a bat as well. And uh, she's really uh, thrilled to have the experience in her visit in Sri Lanka. 21 complete at 74 for 3. Sri Lanka 21 for uh, 74 for 3 after 21 overs. Nanakara on 9, Vihanga on 1. Talking about these left arm spinners, uh, Ricky. We had Ajit Dissel, one of the best uh, left arm spinners. Sri Lanka, very decent height coming from the southern part of Sri Lanka, Ambalangoda. She, he was definitely a fantastic bowler. Of course, uh, test carry, his uh, test carrier was cut short. Sri Lanka 74 for three at the stage. Anakara on nine, Vihanga on one. That's it away over the top. That's going towards the mid-wicket boundary. So it's gone for four, so Vihanga gets her first boundary. Yes, so Vihanga generally likes to play her shots. We saw that in the T20 format where she opened the innings. Went after the bowling. So this is a different role, batting in the middle order against the spinners. But she wasn't afraid to ta take the area load. Didn't time it. She's lucky that didn't go to hand. And the fielder came in for the catch. Unfortunately, uh, could not get there. Conceded the boundary. Vihanga has to be careful. Because what Sri Lanka needs is a partnership. She must not give her wicket away. She's uh, one of those uh, experienced uh, players when you come to this under-19 setup. Our colleague Damika was telling us how she played well in that uh, concluded the World Cup. Am I right, Damika? And she was a part of uh, the team or the best playing 11 out of the World Cup as well. So that means she's certainly uh, capable of... Uh, uh, her, I mean, uh, batting or, or bowling, she's a, a very good all-rounder, so she's certainly capable. We haven't seen the best of her with the bat. She's got the starts, but unfortunately, she's not played that big innings. 
and uh, together with Nane Kara, if she can uh, pull out something here, that's what Sri Lanka needs. Yeah, that could be called wide down the leg side. Yes, umpire Kiti Bandara signaling wide. He's talking about Vihanga Ricky. She opened the batting in the D20 format and uh, been put down the order. Well, that uh, that shows that Sri Lanka needs a good innings from her in the middle of the order, and that's exactly what he, she got to do today to control the innings with uh, skipper Nana Kara. Sri Lanka got off to a very good start, but uh, lost their way by losing three wickets. And now it's a uh, rebuilding time by these two batters. That ball turned a bit, uh, lead, bringing her horseman into the right-handed batter. Vianga 5 of 14 deliveries, Nana Kara 9 of uh, 15 deliveries. End of over number 22, it's 79 for 3. Look at those pitchers, uh, Paulinus. The water's looking tempting. And here comes Davina Perrin to bowl a red breaks. Now, this is going to be an interesting challenge. She's better known for explosive batting on top of the order. But uh, she's bowled a few overs in the T20s with her leg breaks. Now, this is going to be a challenge for her. Longer format, 50 over format. Good job, good and uh, the girls coming to watch this game, the youngsters, they're enjoying the game, enjoying the music as always. Oh. Yeah, likes. And uh, they probably will be thinking, we want to play at this level one day here at the Gold International Stadium. That's what it's all about. The more cricket is played, the more cricket these girls see. They will experience it and they will want to do the same. But right now, they are enjoying hey. the music. That's uh, lovely to see, isn't it, uh, Paulus? Yes, of course, the Sri Lankans have music in their blood, no doubt about that. Hey, Dave, love you Wherever way, they Dave. go, they love their music. They're enjoying the day. I'll, I'll tell you, the bowler in action now, she would have loved to have uh, one of those uh, drums out there and uh, have a sing song. She loves the music as well. That's a, a loose delivery, though. Jonah. That will be checked, I'm sure, by the third umpire. But the two fielders have done well together to uh, keep it in play. We'll certainly have a review of that one, but it was a loose uh, full toss. Good working, Dave, going, Come on, Dav. We're on top here, girls. Brilliant fielding. Just the two runs conceded. Excellent stuff on the boundary. Well, that's called wide by umpire. Pudivata. Nana Kara is on 11, we hang on 5, Sri Lanka 82 for 3. Devina Perrin bowling right yeah, arm next week, that's a better delivery. Just pushed away. Devina Perrin, as uh, Rick was saying, uh, played in explosive innings in that last T20 game against uh, Sri Lanka. But they should been called in to provide a bowling role. Good that's job, another good really delivery. Good so that's the end of that over. 23 gone. It's 82 for 3. Wow. Tempting waters. 
We have seen a lot of greenery. We have seen a lot of uh, the Indian Ocean. This is called the Samanala Palama, as it tells us uh, Charit. I'm sure who would have walked across that one. It's uh, great to see this uh, stream uh, going uh, nearby. Well, Charit has been doing uh, schooling, his schooling uh, in this part of the country. Or Richmond Tide. Richmond. Uh, uh, it's Amali to continue. It's 82 for 3. And uh, so a few smiles, a few jokes uh, shared in the commentary box as well. And uh, the fans are enjoying it, yes. Uh, we've been at our cameras, they're enjoying uh, the Sri Lankan culture, enjoying the cricket. Whether they're at the grounds, whether they're at the top of the goal foot, that's in there. Safe for once again and down to the boundary for four. Taking a chance of Wianga. This is the second time she has played that shot and hasn't really uh, got hold of it, hasn't middled it. A couple of top edges have fallen safe. And uh, she has been uh, blessed with the two boundaries. We have seen her batting right throughout this series, Ricky, and that's the way she plays. But she got to control herself in a, a different format of the game. She played some beautiful shots in the T20 game. But now it's a 50 over format. She got to be more responsible, coming to bat in the middle order. Well, Sri, Lanka, Sri Lanka 3, because down she got to rebuild the innings with uh, her captain. Once again, pushed on the onside, officially, one bounce to the fielder. There be Vyanga, she can bat, she got to control her innings, she got to play her shots nicely. Sawali, and the game swept away this time, but uh, straight to the short mid, uh, short fine leg fielder. Nanakara and Vihanga have the responsibility of rebuilding the Sri Lankan innings. They got off to a very good start, getting 63 for the first wicket. Then uh, lost their way in between, losing three quick wickets. Now these two batters have added uh, 14, 18 runs. Taking the score on to 86, 24 gone, it's 86 for three. Those beverages uh, look very tempting, the Cokes and the Sprites. And uh, the flags are flying. There's a bit of a, a breeze across the ground today, which is very refreshing. I was down there earlier as well, speaking to our cameraman and uh, some of the other officials, the security. Yes, uh, that come bit of sea breeze come in and is uh, so refreshing because it's been very hot and humid out there in the uh, center. And uh, Good job. Perrin continues, gave away three runs of a first over for the loose delivery, which was uh, well fielded on the boundary, and she was lucky to escape, not uh, in hit for four. Well, talking about that breeze, Ricky, the breeze coming from this end, the right-hand side of our commentary box, and blowing right across the uh, ground, the sea breeze, the open space of the sea, we see from the right-hand side of us. You see the spectators watching this game, traveling from all over England and Australia. Sri Lanka 86 for 3 at the moment. Good job, good job. Really good, Ida. Devina Perrin bowling his second over. First over went for three runs, three dot deliveries in this over. Looking shot and uh, Perrin not feeling cleanly, but it doesn't consider run. So four dot balls on the trot now. Really good, here, girls. Really good. The substitute fielder Thomas. Uh,
she's out there. Control batting. This is good batting by Nana Kara. She knows uh, she has to bat deep, bat right till the end. She's uh, the main cog now in this uh, batting lineup for Sri Lanka after they lost a uh, carve in the. Now she needs the support by the rest. Sri Lanka must look to get to uh, at least 180. You know, that will be something on the scoreboard for them uh, to uh, bowl at. If they get 180 and bat the 50 overs, that's a good job done by them, no doubt about that. They have a good bowling attack. They can put a lot of pressure on the English batters. So that's the end of that over. 25 gone. It's 87 for 3. Busy day here at goal. Spectators, supporters, tourists, they are having such a fantastic time up at the clubhouse. Sri Lanka were made to do some serious rebuilding after losing three wickets on a trot. That beautiful opening partnership set the platform, but Sri Lanka not taken advantage of. So not sure good, good shots contributing to that this time too. In line with the stump, nicely swept away into the gap. Fielder comes around and picks it. Nanakara picks up another run. Eva Lee, if I'm not mistaken, against Sri Lanka in the T20s. Started off the spill by picking up a wicket and done the same thing against Sri Lanka in the 50 over format. Quite unique. Lee in the middle of a very good spell. Well into her fifth over, conceding only 14 runs and having picked up a wicket, making serious contributions for England efforts. England now controlling things out there in the middle. Run rate obviously gone down. Two batters out there in the middle, Nana Kara and Vihanga. Understandably watchful this time. Pulls it straight to the fielder. Scoring opportunity quite clearly. We are in a defensive frame of mind. A shorter delivery. Your your intention is not to pick up runs. All of a sudden, your shots finding the fielders. That's something we've seen right throughout the series. It's about continuing the momentum. Lee, meanwhile, three dot balls on a trot. So patience is a virtue here for Sri Lanka. There will be a few uh, dot deliveries made over, so they have to keep their cool. Now that's played too early, but once again, luck with Vianga. Coming hard at the ball, hard hands, and uh, that balloon in the air, but just she survived that one as well. 26 completed, 89 for 3. Having another look, Vihanga had this knack of pushing at it hard, hard hands as you refer it. Quite a few, in fact, she played in the air. Each and every one of them onto the gaps could be her lucky day. Extra, extra, Jonah. So we had uh, Jones off the field for a while. We're on top here, girls. Ball's coming here, girls. Katie Jones was the wicket keeper in the last game. Last game. Ward is uh, doing the uh, wicket keeping duties uh, today. They're in. On to her third over. Good spell so far. Neatly worked away. This is what Sri Lanka should be doing and picking up a boundary. There you go. It's about timing, not going hard with your Ratna. I'm sure she'll understand. That's well played, uh, waited for it. Just a roll in a wrist over that one. And uh, this outfield is uh, lightning fast. 
picking up another Go boundary, her third boundary. She's uh, in these 14 runs. And uh, like you mentioned earlier, maybe it's a lucky day. So far it has, uh, the luck has gone away. She needs uh, to uh, now capitalize on these uh, chances she's got and uh, try to make it big. Good feeling by Surin Kumar. Keeps it down uh, to just a single. For Sri Lanka, two best batters experience-wise in the middle, Nana Kara and Vihanga. Huge responsibility, no doubt, still best part of 24 overs remaining at this stage. It's about survival, picking each run on offer, not taking risk, not taking undue risk. This time down the leg side could be came off the bat, it seems, another dot ball. Perrin, meanwhile, very brisk in comparison to all the leg spinners we've seen right throughout the tournament. Quick through the air. This time a full toss. And one bounce into the fence for more runs. Perrin provides the opportunity. Nana Kara gratefully accepting 17 runs to Nana Kara Sri Lanka. We'll have another look. A full toss. Well placed above the mid on fielder. For a moment, thought she got enough to get it over the fence. Not to be. Just a boundary. Sri Lanka 98 for 3. Another wide. Perrin quite clearly unsettled after conceding two boundaries, experimenting, adjusting her lines, and giving out another extra. Yes, so leg spinners generally will give you a loose delivery every over. They're going to bowl one shot or give you that rag full toss. It's not an easy art, uh, wrist spinners. So Perrin has bowled a couple of uh, full tosses in the early over. She got away, but this time Nanekar has uh, punished it. So you have to wait for that loose delivery. Have a lot of patience and the runs will come. I've spoken about best batters to be out there in the middle to take advantage of loose stuff. That one pulled away for another boundary. Well placed. That was asking to be hit. And Nana Akara picking up the third boundary. Very good over. 16 runs off. Yes, sir, that's excellent, Barry. 100 on the board as uh, the dugout applauds. 14 of that are over. And uh, Nana Akara has uh, picked up uh, two boundaries. Two short, uh, two loose deliveries. One full touch, one short one. Asked to be punished. And uh, the Sri Lankan captain has uh, done justice. Uh, so this partnership now is uh, on 39 and uh, uh, 39 or 59 deliveries. It's uh, certainly going well, progressing well, left hand, right hand combination. They're getting the runs uh, at a very decent pace. And they have to continue. They have to continue. Take it as deep as possible. And then analyze uh, what's the best score they could uh, give England to chase. For Sri Lanka, it's about keep building. We've spoken about it. Sri Lanka should bat the 50 overs if they get their chance. And this time goes aerial. Looks like a huge six. We've spoken about it. Vihanga quite capable of clearing the boundary. This time flighted, invited. She came through the line, hits it over mid wicket region. Huge six. Isn't she your favorite uh, player, Damika, in this uh, lineup? Uh, you really enjoyed that one, I tell you. She enjoyed that one as well. Soon as she struck it, she knew that was six. She didn't even bother running. She knew she had cleared the rope. She was so confident. That was powerfully struck. Beautifully played. Took on the field. Uh, and uh, picking up their first six of this innings. Both the batters on 21. 45 runs of 60. Keep building. That's the mantra. For Sri Lanka. This time, not managing to pierce the gap. So, outstanding start to Lee's over. Sri Lanka picking up a six, and Vihanga now settled down. This time, oh, fabulous piece of bowling, plenty of turn. Vihanga for a moment thought she get the chance to pick that one. That's the partnership. 45 runs of 62, 21. Even contributions. Ideal. 
to experience batters doing the stop in the middle still a long way to go though for Sri Lanka it's a good comeback by Lee three dot balls after being hit for six pull it back a length not letting uh, we hang again under it playing each delivery on its merit a good delivery flight at on a good length safely negotiated by Vihanga now she seems to be growing in confidence so is the skipper Nana Kara picking up boundaries at will we've spoken about it but opportunities will come they should be there to be taken oh what a piece of bowling classic off spinner gone through everything a boundary by yes that's beaten everything gone through bad and bad over the stumps beaten the wicket keeper beautifully bowled classical uh, off spinner uh, delivery certainly beating the beaten that time of Wehanga. i was going to mention just before that ball uh, she's got the six then she's played four dot deliveries so that's where you need your cool you have to be calm and you have to be uh, watchful i i just thought uh, probably to play four dot dot deliveries Wehanga might uh, you know be a bit restless and uh, you could see that she was a bit loose trying to drive through the offside but uh, survives that scare 10 runs off that over uh, for Sri Lanka that's a, a big one as well the last two overs they've got a 24 and uh, certainly stepped up this uh, run rate and the biggest worry for England is 16 extras in just a uh, 28 overs so that's a uh, quite a lot uh, which uh, they have uh, conceded so far so there you go that's the story so far if you're prepared to stay there long enough opportunities will come and two batters out there in the middle quite capable of taking advantage as we're looking at another bowling change Karis Pavli comes into the attack yeah, she's behind. Come on then, Pavs. 20 runs for a wicket against Aussies it's time of full toss punished away for a boundary this time Nana Kara joins the party once again. Sri Lanka after a while run rate above four. Yes sir, that was too easy. First delivery, waist high full toss and uh, the partnership moves up to 253 as well. Coming down the track, taking it on the full and uh, she just uh, blasted that uh, through the offside. That was no stopping that one. It's been an excellent partnership uh, by uh, these two for the uh, fourth wicket two of the senior players we could call it in this lineup left and right hand combination they have sh shared the strike as you see the contributions 25 of 33 21 of 33 it's been uh, brilliant by uh, skipper nanekar and uh, devmi vihanga they have to look now to double this continue this uh, momentum because now they have england under pressure and uh, they're batting well so once you're getting once you get in on this side of uh, surface this type of surface at goal you should look to play that long innings no questions about that i'm sure too bad as only the middle understanding the importance of staying time in the middle oh, stopping opportunity we'll go upstairs a wide being called kotachi to make the call quite clearly was out of the crease totally unnecessary but having built up a solid partnership once again Sri Lanka 
losing the initiative Nana Kara walks back stumped Pevely stumped word the ball Pevely so there you go word behind the stumps brilliant stumping because that was quite wide it was wide of uh, it was signaled as a wide as well so she had to bring that ball quite a lot through the stumps uh, uh, Damika at the end she managed to do it with one hand and uh, get uh, the bails off in uh, time but Nanekara I thought she was a bit loose there she's already got the boundary in that over that was needless all you needed was to work the single you know get six seven runs per over because the boundary has come but a rush of blood coming down the track and uh, credit to the bowler she bowled it wide the batter could reach it and uh, Ward doing the rest of behind the stumps this is a big breakthrough for England not a good one for Sri Lanka Nanakara getting to 25 a well made 25 but unfortunately has to depart in at number six once again with the responsibility of rebuilding best part of 22 overs still remaining that has been the problem for Sri Lanka Good opening partnership, thrown it away. The initiative brought England back into the game, invited pressure upon them. And once again, after this fantastic partnership, better than a runner ball. Thank you, sir. And on that occasion, Nana Kara quite clearly was totally Nana unnecessary. Kara. Got a boundary. It's about working into the gaps and picking up singles. But Nana Akara going for a big booming drive that was quite clearly a wide. And so one day picks up a single. Trying to pick up a single. The call from the non striker is no. Sri Lanka still maintaining a run rate of 4.16, which is good to see. But they have now to contend with their lower middle loader, having lost top four batters. This is not ideal. This is a momentum breaker and inviting pressure upon yourself. Not the smart way to play limited overs, 50 over game. Once again, Pavley now settling down to good lines and lengths. Confidence must be very high after picking up that wicket as I will come once again. Pulling us into the com box. Well, there you see the replay of that. Wide outside the off time, Nanakara coming down the wicket, trying to hit it over. So highly unwanted shot there, built up, a, done the hard work, got on to a good partnership, but uh, Manudi Nanakara just threw it away. That brought in uh, Rashmika Sawandi, just uh, sweeping it towards the final gear and getting a uh, uh, two. So good bit of feeling there by Stone House here on the boundary. This time pushed away on the offside by Rashmi Gasser. One day they get a single. Taking the score on to 120. Now Wihanga need to be on the alert because Seo Wandi is a quite fast runner. Looks like another over is ended. After 29, Sri Lanka 120 for 4. Widing borders of Indian Ocean, tourist hotspot. You've seen quite a few of them, in fact, enjoying the cricketing action in the middle from the goal ramparts, the fort, on top of the fort. Beautiful places in the southern part of Sri Lanka. Definitely a tourist destination. Now, some wonderful cricket being played in this uh, Goal International Cricket Stadium. Right throughout this series, Tamika, we have witnessed a very good cricket being played by all these three teams. 
they've enjoyed their game. The Sri Lankans too in the T20 series did pretty well. And today after now they've done well. 121 for four after 29 overs. Sevandi got it finer. Not gonna go all the way. She picking up two more runs. Grivcock back to the attack. In fact, she's into the attack for her first over. Skipper today for England. Ava, can you stay across, please? Another leg break bowler. Really nicely played, not providing too much pace down the leg side. So Wandi gets it down and pick up two more runs. So Wandi looks very keen. She's a fighter, we know that. That one played straight to short big digger fielder for no run. So one the left hander, right arm seamer, useful all rounder. Sri Lanka needing Vihanga and so one the to stick once again. This has been the pattern for Sri Lanka a partnership, serious momentum break. And once again, after a brilliant partnership by Nana Kara and Vihanga, losing the momentum, not ideal, Polly. Meanwhile, using the eighth bowler in this innings, Grivcock bringing herself on, captaining the side uh, today. That's short and put away this time towards the mid wicket region. There is a fielder that's uh, Surain Kumar getting a single. So, on the a wonderful player, no doubt uh, a good fighter of the game. She will take the fight to the English camp. Well, at this stage, Vihanga and so on, they got to control the Sri Lankan innings. Still a long way to go, 20 odd overs remaining, 124 on the board. If they can uh, get around 80 90 runs in this 20 over, <laughs> but might have been pitched outside the leg stump. Good piece of bowling, nevertheless, by Gravecock, another smart operator, flighting the delivery, slowing things down. And it'll be interesting to see Vihanga's approach from now onwards. Clearly pitched outside the next stump and a little bit of turn. Of course, go on to hit the stumps, but the moment it pitched outside the leg stump, a BW out of equation. 30 overs complete at Sri Lanka 124 for four. Those are the wickets to have fallen for Sri Lanka. Kavindi, the first to go. Touch unlucky. Playing across the line. Sevwandi, perishes. And immediately after, debutant going aerial. And uh, this is how Manodi Nana Karo went out of a wide. Quite rare. Now, Vijay Ratna, huge responsibility on our shoulders. It'll be interesting to see what her approach, usually someone who likes to get on with it, but today she will have to play a different role. She need to carry Sri Lanka batting up until the completion of 50th over. Yes, these two batters gone to, got to set up a reasonable partnership to take Sri Lanka through because uh, once they go in, we come into the tail end of the Sri Lankan lineup. That's nicely played this time by... Uh, so one day towards the extra cover region gets a single. Well, Sri Lanka at one stage was 62 for no loss. Then a sudden rush of blood. They lost three wickets. And they were 64 for three. From there onwards, it was uh, Manudi Nanakara and Devi Vihanga putting up a good partnership and brought them out to 118 before Nanakara coming down the wicket, trying to hit it away on the offside, missed it completely of a wide delivery, got stumped. So that was probably getting that wicket. That was at 118. Yeah, and since then, these two batters, uh, Wandi and uh, Mahanga, have brought the total up to 125. Oh. Another good delivery. So. Missed it completely. The wicket keeper was also beaten down. Had gone into the boundary for four. Four runs coming off the bat. That's to serve one. They takes her on to all. So to Wihanga. Takes her on to 25. And they score to 129. Definitely not where she intended. She was coming down the track for a shot through. Long on region. That was on the local length. Inside edge. 
for four runs. Definitely Vihaga wouldn't mind that. Vihaga, the main stay for Sri Lanka, looking at Sri Lanka's remaining batting. Sevwandi and Vihaga need to spend some time in the middle. About 12 to 15 overs. That would definitely give them the chance of going beyond 200 and hopefully reaching 230 and so on. Well, meanwhile, another wide delivery taking the wide total on to 10. England now been bowling out of yeah! back one shot and bowled him. Short trying to pull it away. That's the end of a hunger. So that's Sri Lanka losing their fifth wicket at 130. It was a shorter delivery, but not that kind of short to pull it. Wehanga was very quick off the back foot, trying to pull it, missed it completely, played over it, and bowled her. I think that one came off a good leg, Polly. Take a look at it. Very quick, very brisk, Pavli. Not someone who flighted at the delivery. So, gets her second wicket. Pavli in the middle of a very good spell. Vihanga perishes for 25 rounds of 37 deliveries. Sri Lanka once again in trouble, having lost five wickets. Taking a look at the wagon wheel, 30 singles, 16 boundaries and a huge 6 over mid wicket region. Sri Lanka relatively happy. The worrying factor for them is 5 wickets. They have this nature of losing wickets in a cluster. 3 wickets, now 2 wickets. With a sh within a short span of a time, not ideal. As players taking drink. It's definitely the Sri Lankan batters have got uh, runs all around the wicket. And uh, we have Ricky Sims down there with someone. Let's have a look at that. Over to you, Ricky. Well, it's a uh, drinks once again. Uh, England uh, versus Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka not uh, doing uh, quite well. Uh, joining us for a brief chat is uh, the Sri Lankan opener, Sanjana uh, Kavindi, uh, who is uh, joining us. Uh, Sanjana, uh, we got uh, then... Uh, happy <laughs> Mama may series a Uranagang may may magi again first time may magi series first time series a Uranagang gave away. A Kamangi the Roman team at Luga Karagila, good accessory. Starts good a Kahuna Hamunaka half century at the T twenties fell at the twenties, thirties gave away. Locus goes well to convert Karagana Berbichika disappointed the winner. Oh, at the name of the Lampo de Latina, through Dukai, Eka Manluku. I am going to try to get a little bit of a little bit of a little Good luck, uh, Sanjana. Uh, uh, Sri Lanka under 19. Uh, 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 cricket world. Thank you. Okay, that was Ricky Sims with uh, Sanjana Kavindi, the Sri Lankan opening bat. Also, we get back into the game. So, it's a uh, family to continue. And the new batter is uh, Rashmi Netranjali, who has joined in. She joined uh, Rashmi Kasa one day. Who's on seven? Sri Lanka halfway stage. Half of their batters are back in the pavilion for 130 runs, and about 20 overs remaining. The batters should uh, 
concentrate a lot and try to bat this 20 overs. That's a main wicket. There you see the replay of that wicket. Just short of delivery. So on the, um, sorry, uh, we hunger. Get off the back foot. Didn't watch the ball into it and uh, pay the penalty of being bowled. This one driven firmly by Nithranjali. She's off the mark with two. Getting two. Move to the Sri Lankan total. 132 for five. Go on, Pops. Go on. So one as well as Nithranjali. Quite a fast runners between the sticks. There you go. 16 of her best. 18 runs so far in the series. I'm sure. Quite a capable batter. Hopefully today she can make something big for Sri Lanka. Especially Sri Lanka needing it so badly. Yeah, Jones. Steffi negotiated, completes the 31st, 132 for 5. There you go. That has been the problem for Sri Lanka. Series of wickets hampering their progress. They were moving along nicely, picking up boundaries. Six over mid wicket to add to batters. Nana Kara and Vihanga settling down really nicely. Now all of a sudden, two new batters in the middle. Once again, not ideal stage to rebuild, but Sri Lanka forced themselves to do that. Well, exactly that because 62 for no loss then they lost three quick wickets and now again they were settling down well with uh, Manuji Nanankara and Vihanga and they have lost uh, two quick wickets again and the, both the set batters have been back in the pavilion and now Rashmi Kasawandi and uh, Rashmi Nitranjali have been uh, given the job to do. Uh, Nitranjali put up a good partnership with uh, Hiruni Hansika in the previous game uh, against Australia. So she might be wanting to do the same today with uh, someone. Hey, hey, hey. the up to now been stroking the ball well. She's on 7 of 12 deliveries. Sri Lanka, we are into the 32nd over. Crew Cook, the England captain for today. That one shortish and cut away nicely, but uh, straight to the field at short third man. No run. This is, of course, time for two batters out there in the middle to dig deep. Sri Lanka needing proper batters to finish up and they have this problem of batting out 50 overs and these two can spend time in the middle pick up whatever runs on offer and putting English bowlers under pressure will come next at this stage is about survival five down they are still in with a danger cause aerial luckily Reaching the fielder, a couple of bounces. Suren Kumar does the fielding, completes and one more delivery to go. Grimcock in the middle of a good spell. Skipper, not their usual regular bowler, more of a part timer known for her batting. But today, with the ball, doing a decent job, restricting Sri Lanka from scoring. And at this stage, ideal time to come on. Well, that's a uh, good delivery by Grikat. The last of the 32nd over. Pushed on the offside and 32 gone. It's 133 for 5 Sri Lanka. Taking a look at the bowling so far. Pavli. Pick up the bowlers. Picking up two wickets for six picked up two wickets she's looking good so is Sophia smell very smart left arm orthodox bowler seven overs 22 for two useful contributions by Eva Lee very gentle off spinner done well against Sri Lanka in the T20s section of crowd enjoying outstanding cricketing action in the middle always good to see yes definitely I think Sophia Lee was uh, the pick of the bowlers she bowled very well 
Seven overs given away 21 runs and picking up those two wickets. Very important wickets. Alex Stone now has been brought into the attack. She had a good opening spell. That hit up Ashley over the top of the closing fielders. That's going towards the boundary. Four more runs. That's a good hit by Sir Wandi. Hitting it over the closing fielders. That's exactly what they got to do if they're going for the shots. They got to control themselves well. Come on, Alex. Place it above the fielders' heads if they're going to hit it up in the air. And she did it very well. Taking the bottom hand off, still finding the gap, goes aerial and finding the boundary. So one be quite a capable batter. I think she's the ideal one to stay long enough for Sri Lanka. Hopefully, till the completion of the 50th over. If that happens, Sri Lanka will surely go close to 200 or beyond that. It's about building partnership once again. We've spoken about it time and time again when Sri Lanka plays after a partnership, cluster of wicket, rebuilding, then another cluster of wicket. Not ideal. Meanwhile, Alexa Stonehouse once again back into the attack after conceding a boundary in her first delivery. But once again finding the light and length. Well, Sivan is the type of player who is prepared to take the fight into the opposite camp. And that's exactly what she had been doing right throughout the tournament. That shot and pulled away nicely. This time, one bounce into the boundary. Two more runs to Sivandi as we were talking about it. She's definitely going to take the fight into the opposition camp. She has been batting well right throughout the series. Played some valuable innings. But today, now she's already on the IC. That replay of that shot and pulled away, off, went off to the back foot very soon and pulled away nice into, into the mid wicket boundary. Fantastic pull shot. Pitched it short. Stonehouse looking to get Rashmika into her back foot, but not only in the front foot. She's quite strong in the back foot as well. Once again, Ariel. Reaches the boundary. This is outstanding. I'm sure Sri Lanka supporters as well as the team management are expecting Sevwandi to stay longer. This is another big over. 12 runs off so far. Yeah, you see again she's uh, hitting over the top of the close infielders. That's good batting. Hitting it over the close infielders, getting it to run into the boundary. Rashmika Sawande, she is prepared to take it to the opposition camp and she has been doing it right throughout the series. That's very well played this time, pushed it on the offside and gets a single. Very good over for Sri Lanka, 13 runs coming off it. Sawande moving on to 21 and the score to 146 for 5. Coming in at number six, Sewandi already 21 runs off 21 balls. So she is moving at a runner ball. Always good to see. It's about Netranjali providing the support. There you go. So many good starts. No one continuing to make it big. Nissan Salah 27, Kavindi 27, and Vihanga Nanakara both 25. Sri Lanka had the opportunities to make it big, not taken. Something they'll be learning from this series the batters like Hamilton once the opportunities are given always make it big Grey Cock starting off her third well I think uh, Dominic, all the batters have got into good starts but they have not capitalized on it rather other than uh, Vimoksha Bala Surya who got out quite early all the batters have reached up to uh, come up to the 20s and they have not uh, made it big and so one they now on 21 will be wanting to make a good score. After that, she has been batting pretty well. And Tranjali got to support her on the other end. Get that strike rotating. Give more of the strike to Sawandi, who is a busy player. At time pushed on the back foot straight to the bowler. She's got to be careful with that. Good eagles! Grivcock uh, bowling her third over. She's so been quite economical. Just four runs uh, in this uh, two overs chess ball. 
Pulling a leg spin, that's uh, trying to sweep it away down the leg side, definitely pitched outside the leg stump, but gets it into her pad. Rikov is someone who's slowing it down, generally in flight, in line with the leg stump. Attempted sweep shot, not making solid enough connection. So Wandi, the bait stay for Sri Lanka. Neat little defensive shot. Coming in at number six, she got all the right techniques and the attitude to be the sort of finisher Sri Lanka is hoping for. But she got a bad a long way to go. Cannot think of finishing the innings yet, 17 overs more. She got to bat at 17 overs to put Sri Lanka on top. That's the end of that over. Is it uh, one more delivery to go? She's on 21. Right throughout the series, I've noticed she is a great fighter. Won't give it alone. That's again trying to work it on the leg side. Looking for that single. So that's the end of that over. It's 34 gone. 146 for 5. There you go. Two batters, two left handers in the middle. Got a huge responsibility. Sri Lanka moving close to 150. The problem they have right now, they don't have enough wickets in hand. Just lost too many wickets than they would have anticipated. Through lackluster batting, through mistakes. Haven't seen that intent from two experienced batters to go on. Having picked up boundaries, still going after the bowlers and perishes. Sri Lanka, 16 overs remaining. What sort of a score they will be eyeing? I'm sure Sevwandi and Netranjali stays. That'll be good for them. A full toss. This time gets hit into the deep. Fielder comes around, picks it up. Should be a single. Nicely done, Netranjali. Her intention is to get Sevwandi on strike as much as possible. Lee, meanwhile, into the attack. Very deceiving off spin bowler. Awali tossing that, not afraid to toss that ball up again. Well pitched, well good delivery. This one pitched on the off stump. Taking away from the left hander, beating Sevwandi. Definitely, that's the line and length that she should be attacking at. Awali 1 for 22, bowling a 7th over. So had a good bowling spell. Once again, this time off the back foot. Uh, so one they trying to work it away. Doesn't get hold of it. Two good deliveries by Awali. Sri Lanka 147 for 5 at this stage. They got uh, these two batters to bat as much as possible. Put up a good partnership. Guide them through. They've got to bet at least the 42nd, 43rd over. That's nicely worked and away by someone this time. Gets a single. At this stage, had they lost three wicket less, they would have had the opportunity of going after the bowling. But now, they are still doing the consolidation job. At this stage, they cannot afford to lose another wicket for the same reason from time to time, we see plenty of dot balls. This one cut away nicely. Fielder comes around, not been able to stop that one. Much needed boundary, a pressure reliever for Sri Lanka. That's very well played by Netranjali. She was off the back foot. That brings the 150 on the board. 152 for five Sri Lanka. You see the happy Sri Lankan camp. They see the replay of that. Slightly short and Netranjali off the back foot, getting that cap well between cover and extra cover. And the huge chase here on the boundary by that fielder but could not get on to it. Netranjali played that really well and that's another tossed up delivery outside the off stump going further away. Taking the bat away Netranjali. So it's 35 gone, Sri Lanka 152 for 5. The 
you see some of the English supporters uh, coming all the way to watch this game, support their team. Might be the parents of the players. Sri Lanka 152 for 5. After 35 overs, Rashmika Sewandi is on 2, 22. Rashmi Netranjali is on 7. These two batters have taken the score from uh, 130. 22 runs added. So one the in particular has been looking on the attacking mode. She's a great player. Looking very good right throughout the series. Oh, good to see our regular supporters here as well. Supporting these uh, girls. That's a uh, famous face we generally see at international uh, cricket. Well, it's a, a follow of uh, Sri Lanka cricket. Is that Lassit Malinga there? Yes, the Lassit Malinga style. He's always there with the flags, uh, supporting uh, the national side. Good to see him here down in goal. She's playing a good little knock, isn't she? That's well uh, fielded. A good slide on the boundary line. Pavely, she's been uh, very active. Picked up a wicket as well. These two are, are very uh, talented players, Sewandi and uh, Netranjali. We have uh, seen them uh, right throughout this uh, T20s and uh, this uh, 50 over games. Uh, the two who uh, generally will open the bowling. Uh, good all-rounders, isn't it? And uh, very versatile, very energetic, very keen out there and uh, hoping that they can bat for long now. Sri Lanka have uh, tended to put up a partnership, then they have lost a couple of wickets uh, quickly. So this is uh, crucial. That has been the pattern for them. They lost the two openers after a good partnership. Then they had another partnership between um, Vihanga and uh, Nanekara, fell close to each other. That has uh, set them back, but uh, hoping Sewandi and Netranjali can uh, bat uh, at least another 10 overs. Yes, that is what uh, the Sri Lankans will be wanting to look at. These two batters uh, take it to the England camp. Oh, yeah. because Sewan, the Ricky in particular, has impressed me a lot right throughout the series. She's been a very good fighter, and that's 36 gone, 156 for five. There's uh, once again our beautiful pictures uh, from our drone cameras. Wonderful work. Uh, Akila doing a tremendous job uh, down there. Sri Lankan wagon wheel 1-6, 24s. And uh, they have done well. They certainly kept rotating the strike run rate 4.33. They're going at a very good rate. It's just that they lost probably a wicket or two too many. At uh, this stage, they would have probably wanted a few more wickets uh, right till the end. But you never know. A partnership here. Uh, certainly can uh, put them back and track. They yeah, are Vihanga 25 and Nyanekara 25 fall into Pavli. That was uh, just too much losing your two uh, set batters next to each other. Well, you see the batting card, you see four of the batsmen getting out to 20s and throwing their wickets away. So we hope Rashmi can say, one, they won't do that. She's on 26 up to now. And Netranjali providing her with great support. Well, uh, a while ago I had a chat uh, with. Uh, uh, Kavindi, uh, Sanjana Kavindi, Paulinas, guess how old she is? She must be about uh, 17, 18. I thought the same, but she's just 15 years of age. So she has uh, many more years left at the under 19 level. And I tell you, at 15 years of age, what a talent she is, isn't it? She started playing cricket at the age of 11 from uh, Devapati Raja. And uh, how soon she has grown at 15 years of age. She's uh, playing against this much more experienced England Australia lineup and uh, batting as uh, she has, uh, you know, been uh, that's a bread and butter. Since she was so fluent and uh, looking so confident, and uh, yes, she has a lot more years to offer. And I'll tell you, she has a lot more to offer for women's cricket in Sri Lanka. It's definitely really nice to hear about that because Chamudi uh, Prabodha, another 14 year old, so Sri Lankan lady girls have a good future in cricket. Well, they got to develop their skills very soon. Got to learn to play 50-over cricket. That's exactly what is needed. 
and Sri Lanka cricket doing a wonderful job in organizing tours like this to provide them with that kind of opportunity to play 50 over cricket. Yes, sir. The more opportunities like this, the better they will get. And, uh, you know, the more cricket of this nature, they will be groomed to uh, just walk into that national side. But they have lots of talent. There is no doubt about it. Lots of talent, lots of potential. It's just a groom in them to be ready for the big stage. Really good, Ava. And I'm sure Sri Lanka cricket uh, will, going forward, have uh, much more tours of this nature to help these uh, young girls develop their skills. 156 for five. That's nicely played again, this time by Sawandi. Beating the cover fielder gets a single. What I've been most impressed is about the Sri Lankan side in the T20s and in this uh, uh, limited uh, or the 50 over format they have competed with. They haven't sort of let Australia and England just walk through them or, or walk over them, you know. Uh, they have competed well. Yes, that last game they lost by 88 eight runs, but uh, they were in the game for some time, you know. They kept competing. The T20 format, they did brilliantly. And uh, today again, I mean, if they continue to bat this way, they'll put a, a decent score on the board. 37 completed, 157 for 5. There you see once again some beautiful pictures all around the ground. Let's uh, get back to cricket here. So one day on strike, trying to work it away. Grilcock uh, continuing a bowling for was uh, for eight runs. So have had a good spell. Sri Lanka 158-5. Someone the on 27 looking for those runs. Yes, sir, she's uh, picking up the single really well. Both these uh, batters are rotating the strike really well. 8 of 12, 28 of 39. The skipper for today, Grucock, into the uh, action. She's been very economical into his uh, into a fifth over, none for nine. So 159 for 5, so one the on 29, 28, and Frangeli on 9, these two batters got to back, take it deep. Uh, sorry, Paulinas, they're batting with a lot of confidence, isn't it? Uh, uh, the way they are batting, they're looking very comfortable, and that is due to the surface. There isn't any terrors on the surface. Unfortunately, uh, the Sri Lankan batters, like you mentioned earlier, got into the 20s and they gave their wickets away. Yes, they have a couple of LBWs, but. Um, some of them were loose shots, especially the one of Anani Carr after she had got a boundary charging down the track. You know, so those are, are, are small mistakes that uh, they will learn as they grow. But even, yes. even the two openers, Sir Ricky, got LPW, they're trying to play it across. They could have easily played it straight. That swept away nicely this time by Nathranjali. You know, we'll have to wait for the young umpire signal. So that's runs. Get a single for her. So 162 for 5, Sri Lanka, after 38 overs. It's a 4.26. They're certainly betting at a very good run rate. They continue to do this, they'll get to around uh, 220, which is a very respectable total. But uh, they have to keep wickets intact. These are the wickets to fall. That was that LBW. Probably a touch unlucky. Gone either way. This was Plum in front. That was a loose shot. Playing across the line to a foolish delivery. And then uh, the debutante Balasuria just driving uh, upishly. 
This was uh, Nanikara unnecessary at that stage of the game. And again, a short delivery. Probably didn't pick the length up early enough. But then there again, we had just lost a wicket, so Vihanga should have been a bit more sensible. But this is good cricket. This is fantastic batting. That Ranjali down the track, taking it on the full, hitting it straight. Hit off in the circle. And that's a four runs. Very well played by Netranjali, the left hander. Not afraid to use her feet against the Lee. And uh, the good thing about this shot was she was going straight. Made good connection. It's exactly. It goes on to show how good these two all rounders are. The two opening bowlers for Sri Lanka. Rashmi Netranjali and Rashmi Kasa won the. They've been playing pretty good cricket. Taking the fight into the English camp. That's cut away nicely this time. That's also going towards the sweeper cover boundary. He reads the fielder there. It's a single. And most of the Sri Lankans are very young in age. She's just 16 years of old. Kelsa uh, Dhamika Netranjali. So they have a lot more years left at uh, this level. And the confidence levels they're showing are great. Well, overall, Ricky, Sri Lankans are playing a very young side. So that means uh, that all is good for Sri Lankan cricket in the future. Well, as we were talking earlier, Sri Lanka cricket done a wonderful job in providing this kind of experience for them. Yes, at the ages of uh, what, 14, 15, 16, if you will get the opportunity to play against these big guns. That's the coaching staff. We have uh, the manager, Mr. Hemant Deva Priya Maesh uh, Veera Singh uh, as well, the coach who has uh, done a good job. Good jokes, good and Deva Priya has been around cricket a long, long time as a player, administrator, coach, selector, uh, you name it now as a manager as well. And uh, his, uh, the girls under his watchful eye is doing a wonderful job. And uh, Mahesh uh, Veera Singh and his uh, assistant coaches Hi, have done a, a great job, uh, you know, to uh, bring these uh, girls uh, to this level as well, making them a combination that could compete with the bigger guns now that is what is uh, important and uh, they are performing well yes they came into the game with a positive note they won the toss and decided to bat first that itself shows they're, they're positive they're prepared to play a positive cricket and they have done it up to now 168 for 5 if they can bat the remaining 11 overs and get a total of 230 I think they've done a very good job A stroll uh, up those uh, up the goal fort. Kavindi for 27, Nisansala for 27, faced the 50 deliveries each. Vyanga 25, Nanakara 25. They both uh, got out uh, after first in 37 and 33 deliveries. They needed one of them to bat deep, one of them to get make 80 probably. That's what the Sri Lanka required. But Sewandi is on the 30 or 41. She's had the best uh, strike rate so far. So. If she can keep going like this, uh, Sri Lanka will certainly get a competitive uh, a total. Yes, it's hot there, hot, it's humid, but I tell you, the uh, tourists, they, they really enjoy this uh, weather. You know, even though it's hot and humid, they love a stroll in uh, around the Gold Fort, the streets of Gold, uh, lots of tourists uh, down south. It is the place to be. You should come down to Sri Lanka, a lot of diversity. And... Uh, you get it all, even the beautiful beaches, a lot of uh, wildlife, uh, national parks, of course, uh, the tea up country, waterfalls as well. They pick up one more. Will they come back for two? Coming back for two. It was a risky, I think, the wicket keeper probably missed the stumps on the first occasion. She missed the stumps. If she took the bales off on the first occasion, that would have been close. But nevertheless, Sampai Kotachi will review this. Can you rock and roll it? Oh. 
Okay, uh, better well shot of the crease when the bales off top of the stump. I made my decision. Decision is out. Focus the light, please. So that's the decision. It's given out. Netranjali been run out for 16. Sri Lanka 169 for six. Well, again, it's pretty unfortunate. There was no two there. Netranjali hesitating a bit at the start of the second run, deciding to go on with it. Had been run out. Uh, it was a close decision, no doubt, but uh, still, she was short of the ground. So she walks back for 17, and Sri Lanka losing their sixth wicket at 170. Yes, that was unfortunate. That was needless. Uh, they thought they could get back for two. She was batting so well, 17 of 21, but decided uh, to go back for the second, taking on uh, the uh, fielder's arm, diving effort. And uh, she was a uh, short. Good work by Award, uh, the wicket keeper. So Sri Lanka again have found a way to get out as Rismi Shanjana walks into bat. And uh, now she has a lot to do here. She has to partner Sewandi. Hang in there, not give a wicket away. Well, all what she got to do is to support uh, Sawandi who is batting well. Sawandi is prepared to take it to the English camp. She is batting very well on 30. Provide, the, get those singles and rotate the strike as quickly as possible. Allow more of the strike for Rashmika Sawandi. Well, another good partnership was building up there. It's pretty unfortunate. The Sri Lankan batters in particular. Once they well said, throwing it away again. It's off the mark, streaky, but uh, she will have uh, to get to the non-striker's end. Uh, that's a big relief for getting that first run. Take a look at that wicket once again. Big outside edge. It's a straight. Who's that fielder? I think that's slight misfield. They thought they could come back for the second. That was good fielding. Quick uh, pick up and uh, return above the blaze uh, to the wicket keeper. Stone out the field. That was uh, good stuff on the boundary. So five wides, uh, Paulinas. Sri Lanka won't mind it as long as these runs come. We're talking about Stone now, Zariki. She was throwing herself right throughout uh, from the start itself. Throwing Both herself in the boundary to stop. Huawei. Most of the shots are played by the Sri Lankan batters in the boundary. She was early feeling down there in the fine leg. Now a third man. Delivery pitch outside the off time. Mary Taylor coming back into the attack. 24 runs given of three overs. She hasn't had the best of outings with the ball, isn't it, uh, Mary okay, Taylor? Okay, okay. Yesterday Thank in the last game versus Australia, one for 39 of four overs was very expensive. Today as well was uh, taken for some runs in a first spell. She's bowled uh, both sides of the wicket. Hasn't been to been able to get that accuracy. Sewan is batting well. She needs to keep her concentration. Keep her patience. Because there's 10 overs after this. That's a long way to go. 10 overs is uh, 60 deliveries. And uh, that's uh, Sri Lanka. Certainly can get at least another 40 runs if they bat well. Sri Lanka needs to bat this 50 overs. That uh, should be their main target. If they bat the first, uh, 50 overs, definitely they can reach up to 220, 230. So on the batting at 31, playing very well, getting her shots uh, very well. 176 on the board for, for six Sri Lanka. Well, one more delivery remaining for the 40th over to be completed. That's the end of the 40th over, so it's uh, 176, 77 for six Sri Lanka.
So there are those uh, pictures, uh, different angles, different cameras. In our background, we can have of the Gaul International Stadium, the Gaul Fort, and of course uh, the Indian Ocean nearby as well. Inviting pictures coming to you live on Channel I as well as Sri Lanka Cricket YouTube channel. Sri Lanka approaching the final 10 overs, first delivery of the 41st over. Was dot ball, smell is back. Those are the scoring areas for Rashmika Sevandi, very strong on the offside through cover region. That one was turning, going down the leg side it seems. Another dot ball, smell, wicker to wicker bowler, not too much of turn on offer from her. Sri Lanka should do well to bat out 50 overs. I'm sure the run rate isn't too bad having lost six wickets. That previous dismissal was totally unnecessary. Going aerial and finds the gap. Another boundary. Rashmika Sivwandi taking the attack to English bowlers. This is a confident uh, knock, a uh, little knock by uh, Sivwandi. Even in the last game uh, versus uh, Australia, she batted well, uh, Rashmika Sev uh, uh, Sevwandi. Uh, uh, was it in one of the games? I think it was in the T20. She showed a lot of potential. And uh, here, she's really showing uh, that to what she's capable of. Two consecutive boundaries. Poor bowling by Smail. She was under pressure after being hit for four. Tossing it up a little bit more. And uh, Sevwandi takes it on the full. And puts it into the gap. She picked the spot early. She knew exactly where she wanted to hit that one. Cross batted. But uh, well executed. This is a really good start for the final 10 overs for Sri Lanka. Sevwandi finding boundaries at regular intervals. Two boundaries back to back. Sri Lanka adding some momentum. As I mentioned, run rate isn't too bad. 4.53. Can they get close to 230? They have only four wickets in hand. Sevwandi at this stage, the mainstay. That's again. Could be four more. Three boundaries in the over. Rashmika Sevwandi is finding the gaps. Four over by Smail. She's bowled impressively so far. But in this over, didn't get her length right. And Sevwandi has punished her. 41 completed, 189 for six. This is very good batting, short enough. She found the gap. Lovely flow of the bat from this young lady, Rashmika Sevwandi. 43 runs, 7 so short of another 50. Sri Lanka had Kavin the scoring 50 against Australians. And Netranjali, uh, I beg your pardon, Sevwandi looking very, very good. She's the, the vice captain of this uh, team as well, uh, Damika. So she knows there's a lot of responsibility. One of the leaders uh, in this group. Sanjana has to give her the strike, give her the support. You know, just uh, keep uh, accumulating runs. The run rate 4.59. So Sri Lanka is certainly in a good position. It's just they have probably lost a wicket or two. Uh, many, there you go. 43 of 49, 6 fours, good strike rate. And uh, she's uh, been very strong to the onside. To mid ticket region and cover. Her preferred areas, quite a few boundaries being picked. 4.59, like Ricky mentioned. Sri Lanka needing Sevwandi to stay as long as possible, ideally till the completion of the 50th over. If that happens, Sri Lanka will definitely get a good score on the board and that will make this game set up really nicely for a grand conclusion and edge this time the third man picks it up and sends it back only a single Taylor proven expensive in her first spell now coming back into the attack at a difficult stage so far given away just a single so Wandi once again back on strike. It'll be interesting to see her approach from this point onward. Just seven runs short of a 50. Oh, beautifully done. Fielder in the deep. We'll cut that one off. Only a single. 
good cricket all around good piece of bowling so one day really nicely timed that one field in the deep picked it up and sends in a good return just a single Ooh. Sri Lanka wouldn't mind that they need say one to stay till the end yes most certainly she has to bat uh, till the end uh, the others have to give her support valiant attempt by Perrin They've got the two runs uh, so far of the over. So Sanjana has to uh, keep a composure because the last over they got uh, three boundaries. So even if they have uh, uh, less, uh, less over here when it comes to runs, it doesn't really matter as long as they keep their wickets intact. Outside the old stump, another dot ball to complete the 42nd. Uh, Sri Lanka they have picked up a single of a misfield came off the gloves and looks like that one came off the bat three runs of the 42nd Sri Lanka 192 for six That was uh, probably outside edge, but a very difficult chance for the wicket keeper. 23 extras in 42 overs. Come on, there, Jokes. Come on, here, girls. That has helped the Sri Lankan cause as well. But there have been a very good overs in between. Thank you, sir. The partnership between Nani Kar and uh, Rihanga was really good. Then Sewa on the end, uh, Nithranjali. That bit of breeze, it has been flowing all day today. Which is very refreshing. The captain into the attack. Gravecock, very clever operator, not providing enough pace for the batters. Five overs, 5.1 now, conceding just 12 runs. Her duty is to contain, and by doing so, enticing batters to go for risky shots. And uh, once again, a bit of a fumble, a bit of a misunderstanding in the middle, rather. Grilcock conceding another single, so won the back on strike. They have to be careful. They cannot afford another run out, especially the wicket of Sewandi. She has to be tactical in a uh, running between the wickets. Yes, she needs to strike. And uh, they have to be very careful. Okay. That was just towards the right of that field. Uh, safely home at the end. Now, Sewandi will like this. The leg spinner, the ball turning into her, the left hand. Uh, She'll be targeting that on side. Like you mentioned, our wide long on region for a fantastic boundary, well struck. So Wandi getting closer and closer to her 50. It was on the cards. I knew she would go with that on side. Plants her right foot down the track. Execution perfected. Into the gap, long on, and Midvigat had no chance. Beautifully struck. This is a confident little knock up by uh, Sewandi. She's playing a real gem here. That could be four more. And there you are. A fantastic half century by Rashmika Sewandi. Brilliant innings, no doubt about it. 52 of a 52. I'll tell you that is one of the best knocks we have seen by a Sri Lanka player right throughout uh, this uh, under 19 uh, tournament in the last two weeks. No doubt, right throughout the campaign, this is the best. So one day, when the chips are down, when Sri Lanka was under huge pressure, she Come came in, there, got regular Come boundaries, there, Come on there, rotating Jones. strike. Look at that. Isn't she happy? Sri Lanka, 201. The other day, I saw her, her family appearance here as well. In that first game versus Australia, I'm sure they are probably here today as well. They'll be very proud, very happy. To see this uh, knocker by uh, Rashmika Sewa. The 53 of 53. On, 100 strike rate came in when Sri Lanka had lost two quick wickets. They were really under pressure. And she just mooted along. I mean, uh, she hasn't uh, uh, looked uncomfortable at all. And uh, she's just gone after the uh, England bowling. And uh, her plans have come off. 43 completed. 202 for 6. Sri Lanka batting card, so one the 
dominating the proceedings 53 of 53 and she's needing Sanjana to provide her the support she needs Netranjali run out for 17 two batters two experienced batters Vihaga and Nana Kara both of them 25 respectively and Kavindi and Nisan Sala 27 respectively identical figures 27 of 50 and 27 of 50 extras today as well 20 plus once again England there you go what a fantastic knock regular boundaries that has been the feature of her innings very strong through mid region and square leg region back live outside the Austin Taylor one more dot delivery she has to carry on Namika seven overs including this one still a long way to go and uh, Rashmika Sewandi has to ensure she bats the 50 overs. That's uh, her role. Those were the shots she played during that uh, half century. Some brilliant work. This time again, oh, well fielded. That would have been four more, no doubt about it. Good diving effort towards the right uh, that time uh, by the skipper Grucock. Certainly saved a few runs. No doubt. Excellent piece of fielding down at mid off region. Firmly struck by Sevandi. She has this knack of picking up gaps with her shots very well. This time going down the ground, looking for a single, almost a mix up. Luckily, the loud shout preventing them going for that single would have been disastrous for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka needing these two to stay there till the end. That's the order of. Order for Sri Lankans at this stage. This part of seven overs still remaining. Going across the line and played beautifully. This time, Sewandi once again picking up a boundary. She's showing some real power. I wonder what she's eaten this morning, uh, Damika. But she's out there with a purpose. And uh, she's striking the ball really well. Sewandi. She's uh, quite a sort of a taller when compared to the others, very slim, but uh, she's uh, showing some real power behind those shots as well. Uh, real composed innings, confident little innings. Saw her this morning, uh, even though Sri Lanka were batting first, she was measured in a run up and uh, didn't bowl that well in that last game versus Australia and uh, knows that where she went wrong, looking uh, to correct those mistakes, but she's come out with a bat. And uh, she's certainly trying to put up a total that uh, Sri Lanka could fight for. And then she has a total on, a b on the board when she comes out to bowl. It's about confidence, I'm sure. Batting well, scoring 50 plus. That confidence obviously spur into her performances for the rest of the day. This time once again. Ah! Oh, unfortunately, straight to the hands of mid on fielder. Wonderful knock comes to an end. So one the could have stayed longer ideally for Sri Lanka but unfortunately her stay cut short 59 runs of 57 balls the best knock by a Sri Lankan right throughout the series she middled that as well but he did straight to that field that was a good catch we'll take a look at that one but Rashmika Sewandi 59 of uh, 58 has played a superb knock has uh, no doubt about it Put Sri Lanka in a very a decent position. Yes, either side of that field, it would have been four more. It was a very good catch to end a very good innings by young Rashmika Sewandi. She's batted brilliantly and uh, put Sri Lanka in a decent position. It's a 208 for seven. A Shashini Gimhani known for left arm Chinaman bowling now with the responsibility of batting through Sri Lanka still in the danger of bowling inside 50 overs best part of six plus overs are still remaining this over started off really well for Sri Lanka two and a boundary but unfortunately could get the placement played right into the hands of the mid mid on fielder and 
Sri Lanka seven down once again. A momentum break for 0.75 run rate. Still very good. Taylor now picked up a wicket. Going down the leg side, another wide. Sri Lanka need this. Imhani, the new batsman. And Sanjana will have to take the leader role now. There will be loose stuff on offer by the English bowlers quite clearly. And this time neatly worked away for a... They are coming back for the second. Little apprehensive to start off with. Slow off the block. Still completes. Picking up two more runs. So after 44, Sri Lanka 211 for 7. Indian Ocean to either side. There you go. Looking at the bowling so far. Pavli, two wickets. Smale, two wickets. And Taylor just picked up a wicket, Sri Lanka. Not being able to continue the momentum from time to time. Get a good start, get a good partnership, moving along nicely. And then comes the momentum breaker. Eight Jabul has used uh, as England as well, so they tried all their options. Suren Kumar, and for 23, has been very uh, economical. Now she's coming to bowl in these uh, depth overs. She'll be looking uh, to try and stem the flow of uh, runs. Fortunately uh, for her, two fairly new batters at the crease. Do Sanjana has faced seven deliveries. She'll be relieved that uh, Rashmika Sevundi has been dismissed. Quite clearly, saw the joy from English fielders after the dismissal of Rashmika. Batted well, taking the game away from English bowlers, picking up boundaries very regularly and on the attack with a positive frame of mind. Now Sri Lanka once again will have to settle for a survival game. So if they go at the current run rate, they'll get to close to 240. I think they will take that. Uh, uh, that will be a good score, uh, Dhamika. They need to bat sensibly, like you said. Just ones and twos. Get four or five runs over. You'll get to 235 and uh, 240. Six overs remaining, including this. Definitely. At the toss, skipper Nana and Karam mentioned 230. That's their target. So if they can go beyond that, that itself an achievement for them. We've spoken about their inexperience. But this is these are good opportunity. This is how... It was a good catch. Centurion went very well taken. Abigail now grow. Had me done a full toss. Deposited away for a single. Not too much of power Sorry? on that occasion by Gimhani. Yes, sir. The boundaries will come. I think it is the ones and twos that they have to keep looking for. If they get four runs per over, six, uh, six fours, twenty-four, they'll get uh, what uh, to uh, two hundred and thirty-seven. But then there will be that odd boundary, so they certainly can get to 240. But they have to ensure they get a minimum of four runs per over and keep rotating the strike and do not lose a wicket. This time played down the ground straight to the middle of field for no run. Suren Kumar bowling straight in line with the stumps, more or less, makes it difficult for two tail enders, nothing more than that. So Sri Lanka would have hoped Rashmika to stay longer or oh, that one played really well and completes the single really nicely. Three runs so far in this over of Suren Kumar in the middle of a very good spell. Sixth over conceding just 19 runs. Run rate as you mentioned above 4.5, 4.77 at the moment. Sri Lanka will be hoping to get close to 250 but the problem they face they have only three wickets in hand, so it's about survival. It's about pacing out the remainder of their innings. Relatively relaxed. Dug out, going for a big booming drive, misses it all together to complete the 45th Sri Lanka. 214 for seven.
There you go. Surrounded by Indian Ocean from three sides. Batting for Sri Lanka. Top scorer, Sewan, the 59. Kavindi, Nissan Salah, 27. Wihanga, Nanayakara, 25. Good starts. Not continued. Sri Lanka, relatively happy with the contribution of 24 extras. So they got 30 more deliveries okay. remaining. The scorecard is interesting. The top two batters got out for 27 apiece, both to Smail. Then we had Wihanga and Nanayakara got out to, for 25 each and both to Pavely. And both next to each other, all those uh, wickets fell, isn't it? Uh, sequence there. Uh, Damika called a wide. Extras uh, keep mounting. Five overs remaining. Another 20 runs from here onwards. Four runs per over. Sri Lanka can get to 235. I think that's the minimum they must look forward to from here onwards. All you need is uh, ones and twos. And those will happen. And there you go. Taylor, hasn't she been... Uh, wavered she hasn't been england's best bowler in this uh, series uh, she will certainly go back and uh, look at where she went wrong try to correct her mistakes probably with the hot and humid conditions uh, she's not enjoyed but uh, she's bowled both sides of the wicket even in the 220 t20s considered a lot of extras and has been expensive yes i think from time to time taylor trying to mixing up her deliveries in swingers out swingers and not too much of movement in the air on offer so she's someone who enjoys the movement of the track not too much of movement on offer so straight away Taylor not getting anything extra from this track and this is played nicely oh equally well fielded Stonehouse down in the deep keeping it down for just a single Yes, so there you go again. That bit of width outside the off stump from a Taylor offered to Sanjana. The Sri Lankans like the width. A lot of left handers in this lineup as well. And uh, they've enjoyed that width outside the off stump. But that's probably where England have uh, uh, missed a, a trick. Not bowling stump to stump. But good fielding. The England fielding has been good. Uh, and uh, they have uh, taken their catchers. Their ground field has been impressive. They have stopped some uh, boundaries as well. We, we saw that earlier. And that has uh, put uh, added pressure on the Sri Lankan batters. Just much improved performance against Sri Lanka in comparison to what they had. Oh, once again, a catch. Luckily, LZ no man's land coming back for the second. Robert the Green certainly going Sri Lanka's way. What's happened? One fielder is down on the ground. The other one was uh, Stonehouse catching her leg as well down, uh, coming in to uh, collect that delivery. I think she twisted her leg in the process. We didn't see that on our cameras, but I saw down on the ground. We hope uh, that uh, the England fielder is okay. We'll have the physio and the doctor come onto the field uh, quite quickly. A lucky chance for Gimhani looking to pull. A big top edge. We'll take a look at that one fell in uh, safe land and uh, we'll take a look what happened to the field she came running in now this is what happened to stone house she is sort of uh, entangled or twisted angle as well and uh, did the uh, did the field clash with the batter uh, i wonder if that happened she was going back oh yes yeah, she clashed with the batter i think she was going back and uh, she was ball watching the batter came in uh, from uh, behind and she tripped over the bat into the batter quite clearly twisted her ankle that's the problem I think I think the batter also was not aware I think she also was watching the ball probably unfortunate incident nothing intentional but we hope that Pavley is okay. And uh, Kimhani seems uh, fine as well. All ends good. And uh, we hope there is uh, no injuries uh, to anyone. Thankfully, no serious damage. There you go. Marlinger lookalike. Enjoying. Always good to see supporting young under 19 Sri Lanka outfit. Your support. 
It's very vital. You told me you went to the beach yesterday. Did you really go to the beach, uh, Damika? Did you enjoy those waters? Oh, yes. We went to the place called Jungle Beach and had a really nice dip. Hopefully, on our way, you can have a dip. I hope so. I hope so that we'll have uh, some time uh, out there. Jungle Beach is one of the better known uh, popular beaches, isn't it, in the southern province? There you go, those uh, fishing boats out there as well. Our scorer, Harshan, is having a go at you. She's saying something behind our backs regarding your, you and Jungle Beach. I don't know what it is. You'll have to catch them at the lunch break. Let's find that a little later. Taylor. Two wides and single and a two. Decent over so far. Imani Sanjana not possesses the power Rashmika possessed a full toss, possibly a no ball. So that will be a no ball. Unfortunately, she didn't make maximum use of that. I think her eyes lit up. She went for it but couldn't time it. Got a hit high up on the bat. That looks all right. That looks all right. For a moment, I thought that one above the waistline, but yes, so definitely. I thought otherwise. Take a look. Oh, quite clearly a no-ball. Yes, sir. Uh, the umpire probably didn't cite that as well. Pradeep, uh, umpire Pradeep Udawat uh, deciding that's a fair delivery. But yes, my initial reaction also that was over the waist and I thought Sanjana thought that was over the waist. That's why she just hit it in the air as well, took her chances. She that was that a was slower delivery no and uh, probably that dip would have prompted the umpire to judge that one as a fair delivery. Nevertheless, what matters, the umpire's call, Sri Lanka gets another single. Taylor, lengthy over, two wides. See the delivery to go, Gimbani, who's on six. Sanjana, who's on eight. Probably disappointed, couldn't deposit that previous pull toss over. Colorful umbrellas, uh, Damika. They have certainly gone and done some shopping in the city of Gaul to find those umbrellas, identical. And you need them in these hot and humid uh, conditions. Generally on the Gaul fort, you, you, you will see a lot of uh, umbrellas, uh, generally. People like to enjoy the leisure out there. Watch the game from top of the fort as well. Enjoy some uh, sea breeze. Yes, very useful. Scorching sun. There you go. They are carrying umbrellas whenever possible. Very hot day. Beautiful day. Ideal for cricket. Lovely surrounding. City of Gaul, famous for cricket. Have you that been up that clock tower? Probably on our way. I, I was lucky, I think, some time ago once uh, to uh, be up there. Those are historical monuments of the city of Gaul, heritage site, and uh, it's a place to visit if you're coming down to uh, Sri Lanka, the Go G Dutch fort, the Gaul fort, the ramparts, surrounded by the Indian Ocean. This time played straight at this extra cover field for no run, Sri Lanka, ensuring that will that they will bat the allotted 50 overs still under four overs remaining Suren Kumar in the middle of a very good spell 6.1 overs just 19 runs had a very good outing today this time on the legs it's another single of Suren Kumar she's bowling near seventh over this is uh, not the easiest time to bowl the, the death overs of a game. Double Nelson on the board for Sri Lanka. Once again outside the O stump. That's the line of operation for Surin Kumar so far. Two, two, two. 
for seven. Sri Lanka needing eight more runs to go past the target they set for themselves. Suren Kumar reminds me of uh, former hey, England hey, hey. cricketer Dimitri Mascarenas. You know, identical. He too came from a Sri Lankan background, had a uh, Sri Lankan family, born in England like uh, Suren Kumar, rules medium pace and can bat good in the field. Uh, a similar sort of uh, cricketer played a lot of T20 cricket uh, and white ball cricket in general uh, a few years ago for uh, England. And uh, Suren Kumar, as you know, is, uh, has a Sri Lankan background as well, a father from uh, Jaffna. And uh, her parents, her grandparents are all here watching this game. This time straight to the field at mid region, picking up a single and 46.5 deliveries after this. They got another three overs to face. 223 for seven. Quite likely. They can go over that mark they've set for themselves. 230. Still a very good run rate. 4.76. Yes, she's bowling stamp to stamp a dot ball. A very good over. Just the two runs by uh, Suren Kama. 47 completed, 223 for 7. Couple of familiar faces. They have been doing some great duty for us in the last two weeks, isn't it? Uh, our staff of the Rupawani Corporation, it has been a tiresome effort off the field as well, behind the scenes. And uh, they are enjoying uh, the, the, uh, watching the young Sri Lankans play. Absolutely. They've been taking care of everything, taking care of us and providing us everything that needs to carry on with 223 for 7, 3 more overs left, 18 deliveries, if Sri Lanka can get 20 runs out of those 18 deliveries, they can certainly go past 240 against a strong England batting lineup, that will be an added advantage for them. I'm sure had they taken advantage of those opening partnership and a very good partnership in the middle, could have easily gone beyond even 250, but not to be. These two batters out there in the middle, not the most strong hitters, known for their bowling. Left arm seamer, Alexa Stonehouse back in the attack. Played very late, delicate. It's a runner ball. Will uh, take them uh, to that uh, total uh, of uh, 240. That's what Sri Lanka is uh, looking for. It will be a very good score. They have a decent bowling attack. Spin and uh, medium pace. Stonehouse will bowl, probably bowl the 48th and the 50th over. She's their main weapon uh, when it comes to the uh, seam bowling. Loud shout and there's a nick. That was an excellent catch by the wicket keeper Ward. Good hands. She was standing up to the stumps uh, to uh, Stonehouse. Looking to work it on the onside. There was a noise and no doubt about it. We'll take a look. Look at her footwork. Brilliant, brilliant hands as well. There was some noise. It should have been uh, Glover probably uh, onto the wicket keeper because it was nowhere near the pads, the Amika. And umpire would have had to decide in, uh, that's gone. So Rismi Sanjana departs 224 for 8. Yes, that decision was spontaneous immediately. So Sri Lanka losing the 8th. Now 14 year old left arm orthodox bowler Praboda comes in. Chamudi Praboda, left-handed batter, done a decent job towards the latter part of the game against Australia, I'm sure. She'll be expected to do something similar. Gimhani already moved on to eight. So Sri Lanka still with a chance of going past 230, perhaps getting close to 240. There you go, seven runs she caught, scored against Australia. And hasn't she been promoted up the order? Didn't she bat at number 11 in the last game? She's coming at number 10. Good to see young Proboda out there. 
I'll tell you, she can bat. She certainly has a lot of talent whether it's bowling or batting. She may be coming in at number 10 or 11, but she certainly can handle the bat. Certainly with the way she picked up that single in line with the stumps, really neatly worked away towards backward square leg region for a single. That's how the wicket fell. In swinger, going down the leg side, reaching for it. That's what prompted out the faint edge. Not a single. Gimhani looks good, picking up singles at will. She's played a, a, a good little knock. What she's done well is she rotated the strike. 8 of 11. So she's not tried anything fancy. 9 of 12 now, not gone for any big hits. All she's done is uh, get a, try to get a single every ball and make sure that Sri Lanka you know, stay with that uh, current run rate and get up uh, to 240. Stonehouse attempted Joker on that occasion. Very smart bowler, we all know that. Was expensive today, comparatively. Given away a few runs while that outstanding partnership for Sri Lanka prospering. Taken away for a few runs. Oh, this is nice. Straight bat. A dot ball to complete the 48th Sri Lanka. 226 for 8. There you go. The steady progress they've expected towards the latter part wasn't there. Still, we got to keep falling. Still in danger of bowling inside 50 overs. On, 226 for guess. 8. It, Two more overs left. I think 10 runs from here. Sri Lanka should be happy. It's up to these two. This time, a loud shout. Another wicket goes down. Gimhani this time. Neat little out swinger. Moved ever so slightly. Took the outside edge. Wicket keeper does the rest. And isn't she happy? Suren Kumar has uh, picked up a wicket. She's thrilled. She's tried her heart out. Bowled very economically. Uh, the intention was to go through that mid of a region. Faint uh, nick there. And the wicket keeper once again, Ward, has been super behind the stumps. She's gone for nine, 226 for nine. If you remember right, uh, the, the first two games, uh, you know, even uh, Australia didn't bat their 50 overs. They were bowled out when they were cruising against Sri Lanka. The other day, England didn't bat their 50 overs. They were bowled out. And it seems now Sri Lanka have come to the 48th over. The 48th over has been the tricky one for these teams to pass. And now they lost their ninth wicket as uh, Yasanti Herat uh, comes in. So can they survive this? Can they get another few runs, another... 8 to 10 runs and you bat out the 50 overs. Our colleague Paulinus has been asking us all morning what he wants to see is Sri Lanka bat the 50 overs. So yes, uh, if they can do that, that is be certainly satisfying. Left that one go. That should be the aim for Herat as well as Proboda. It's about spending time. There you go. Once again, faint nick. Good club work behind Word today. Has been very impressive. Suren Kumar, ecstatic. Ooh. Yes, I feel that the ward is probably their number one uh, wicket keeper. We saw Jones behind the stumps the other day, and uh, there was a couple of fumbles as well. Uh, really good, uh, then, uh, There was uh, that thing where me? she removed a glove, caught it with the glove, and probably almost considered another five penalty runs. But ward, her footwork, her glove work behind the stumps has been excellent. Uh, yeah! Ball it. Bowler Suren Kumar, stump to stump, you miss, I hit, and uh, she's uh, shattered the timber. And like I mentioned, once again, the team batting first hasn't been able to bat that uh, 50 overs 
I think England the other day, they batted 48.3 overs. Today, Sri Lanka have done one better, 48.4 overs. But well done to, uh, well done, uh, to England. They have uh, come back uh, strongly. And uh, it was this latter part managed to bowl out uh, uh, Sri Lanka for 226. Outstanding conclusion by Suren Kumar picking up 2 for 21. Has been very economical today. Bowling stumps to stump. Taking another look at the wicket, little bit of away movement, shaping in with the arm and playing the line better. Altogether misses it and Sri Lanka 226 all out. Yasanti Herat ball Suren Kumar for note. All in all, decent effort by Sri Lanka. We know for a fact they are inexperienced and today would have hoped to go beyond 230 and put a little bit of pressure on England batting. But not to be 226. Now they will have to fight really hard like they did against the Australia at Hambantota. Here's the scorecard. Carvindi 27, Nissan Salah 27, Rihanga looking good 25 got out. Nana Kara once again irresponsible 25 and Sewandi brilliant knock 59. Netranjali well supporting 17 and the tailenders enough contributions but not enough to go all the way. Sri Lanka with the aid of 26 extras 226 all out 48.4 overs bowling for England Suren Kumar exceptionally well done and picked up two wickets Smell 2 for 34 and Fairly 2 overs though she was expensive picked up two wickets and rest of the bowlers chipping in Stonehouse 1 for 27 and Mary Taylor 1 for 44. Once again expensive as Ricky mentioned. Not the best outing for a right arm seamer. Sri Lanka, there you go. Cluster of wickets. First 63, 64, 64. That's where our problem started for Sri Lanka. Then onwards, not enough, not big enough partnerships. Though Rashmika fighting knock of 59 runs, enabling Sri Lanka to go past 20 to 20. So we'll take a look at this uh, highlight package. It has uh, been a good one. 48.4 was We've seen a lot of fours, but also 10 wickets uh, have uh, fallen. Sri Lanka won the toss, elected to bat. And uh, Karwindi, she was once again outstanding, getting Sri Lanka off to a very good start. Uh, today we had the Subodhu Nisansala promoter to open the bat in the wicketkeeper. She partnered uh, Karwindi in that uh, superb 63 run opening. Uh, a partnership and young Carvindi, just 15 years of age, very fluent uh, through the uh, offside. And uh, Sumudu played some very good uh, shots as well. And uh, these two set the platform until then. Uh, the smell came in, got the two uh, wickets. LBWs first to go Carvindi, then Sumudu playing across the line. Two wickets fell quickly. Balasuria, the uh, fresher, couldn't do much damage. She was out uh, to a loose shot. Nanekara was uh, joined in uh, and uh, by uh, Vihanga and the left and right hand combination. They put up uh, another very good uh, partnership enabling Sri Lanka to bat through those uh, middle overs. Uh, Vihanga has always took her chances. She is not afraid uh, to hit the aerial route and uh, played some very good shots uh, in uh, between, especially that six uh, where she planted over uh, long on. Nanekara punished the loose ball. And at that time, Sri Lanka were looking really good. When Nanekara and uh, Vihanga were going great guns. And uh, until Pavli came into the attack. And uh, she started off with a full toss. But then a rush of blood by Nanekara. Brilliant stamping by Ward. And Vihanga was uh, soon after uh, cleaned up as well. Going for a full shot. Missed one. And then came uh, Rashmika Sewandi. She was... Uh, uh, joined by Netranjali and uh, these two put up a, a good partner. Uh, Sewandi was brilliant. She was absolutely fantastic. Both sides of the wicket with some really good shots. Powerful runner ball effort and uh, she's a wonderful uh, talent. Uh, no doubt about it. This was that run out. Netranjali unfortunately going for the second diving effort and Ward was uh, once again a good behind the stumps. Uh, Sewandi continued and uh, trying uh, her best to get uh, Sri Lanka to a good total. 
She middled the ball really well, was uh, punishing the uh, loose ball and uh, played some good shots. A strong area is that square leg to mid wicket region. Very good with the uh, sweep. That was a fantastic uh, half century by the number 12, Rashmika Sewandi, until uh, she was uh, very well caught at the mid on by New Group. That was a splendid catch, needed one to get rid of uh, Rashmika Sewandi. And thereafter, Sri Lanka lost uh, some uh, wickets. And uh, Suren Kumar towards the end, picking up uh, two wickets uh, to finish things off. And uh, Sri Lanka were uh, bowled out uh, for 226. England need 227 to win at 4.64. I'll tell you, this is going to be a very, very interesting uh, run chase. So we will be back in approximately 25 minutes from now.
So welcome back uh, to the Goal International Stadium. England needing 227 to win in their allotted 50 overs at 4.54. They have their 10 wickets in hand. Sri Lanka made 226. They were bowled out in 48.4 overs. But they have set a decent total for England to chase to. It won't be easy. And uh, if uh, Sri Lankan bowlers bowl well, stick to their plans, certainly they can make life uh, difficult to a stronger England uh, batting lineup. Jody Grew Cock, the uh, captain, the left hander, he's out there. She's uh, going to start the proceedings, and with her is the uh, dynamic uh, Davina Perrin. She will come hard at the Sri Lankan bowling. She's not going to hold back. She didn't play the last game, she was rested. But uh, looking forward to this uh, challenge. Now, she was uh, the maestro of the Sri Lankan batting, Rashmika Sewandi. The superb half century at a runner ball. Set this total for Sri Lanka when their chips were down. She came good. And uh, she will be running in with a load of uh, confidence. Uh, starting proceedings from the golf 14. Yes, Rashmika Sewandi definitely has been because of Sri Lankan players. That's uh, down the leg side, worked away nicely towards the fine leg boundary. So Grewcock is off the mark and England's score both start moving, four without loss. Just a strain on the leg stump, you cannot bowl there. Especially when do you do not have uh, adequate protection. The fine leg field was uh, quite square. So she has to come in a long way. Just the one field on the boundary on the outside. The other is the third man. Sawandi. That's a good better delivery, but still short of length. Pushed off the back foot. Grewcock captaining England for the first time today in this series. There is a slip. All into a field. There is a yes, the Sri Lanka have to look for early wickets. You know, they need to put uh, pressure on the England batting lineup. You cannot afford them to get off to a good start because Krukok, we have seen her uh, throughout this uh, tour to Sri Lanka, has been good. Perry, you know, she's uh, a super talent. So Sri Lanka have to try and pick up an early wicket or two. It's better, much better from Sewan. You need to bowl that a fuller length. Make the batters drive. Mix up your pace. Because if you bowl short, we saw that in the Sri Lankan innings as well. Soon as the bowlers dropped it short, they were punished. Uh, Paulina. So lots of time for the batter to go onto the bad foot and uh, hit it wherever you want to. So the fuller length, wicker to wicket. Because the Sri Lankan bowlers don't have a lot of pace as well. So they need to keep it straight, need to keep it full and wait for the batters to make a mistake. Yes, definitely you cannot drop it short in this type of wicket. They say that's uh, pushed away on the offside. Got to keep it up for the batter to make the batter drive. Uh, Sri Lanka bowling to a field. Quite an attacking field. There is a slip. There is a uh, third man and a fine leg out on the boundary. All the other fielders inside the 30-yard circle. So you cannot definitely drop short. That short and hit firmly but straight past the bowler. But there is a fielder there coming round it. So the first over gone. England 5 for no loss. Once again, when you drop it short, there's a lots of time, ample time for the batters to go on the back foot, hit it wherever they want to. So length is crucial on this uh, surface. Davina Perrin, as always, uh, a smile on her face. Enjoying her cricket. Uh, that much we could say when you look at her play the game. She's enjoying the game, isn't it, Apollonis? Yes, definitely. That day we saw her batting at the centre. Dancing and singing like, enjoying the game. 
playing beautiful shots. And we see Rashmi Netranjali. A wonderful ball at watch. A little unorthodox action, but still she brings that ball in tremendously. So it tends to fall away at the delivery point. But very steady. Sewandi and Netranjali have a partnered each other well. They've been good for Sri Lanka. Two good all rounders certainly can bat. We saw that uh, today as well. Yes, they put up a very good partnership while batting too. That has to be continued in the bowling also. Both these two opening bowlers, Netranjali and uh, Sawandi. Pulls up in a run up. Sri Lanka certainly have a, a decent score to defend. What they need is uh, early wickets to build up the pressure. One slip in position, she'll be looking to angle it across the left hand. That's nicely worked away by Greycock. That's past the fielder that's gone to the boundary. Four runs. It's a bit short and uh, gave time for Greycock to get off the back foot and work it away nicely. So taking the England score on to nine. Greycock uh, getting all those nine runs. You see the replay of that. Short and whipped away on the leg side. It's once again too short. You see the length is what is uh, important on this surface. If you don't get your length right, you're going to get punished. Much better, much better. She has a strong offside field. Need to get uh, Grucock onto the front foot, driving through that offside. Tranchery got to keep it up and uh, make the batsman drive at it. And she swings the ball, she got to look for that edge. That's down the leg side again, could be called wide. This wide being signal. What we haven't seen from the Sri Lankan seamers uh, right throughout this uh, tournament is uh, they haven't come round the wicket. We haven't seen them trying to change the angle. They're comfortable bowling over the wicket. Maybe those are little things they will learn and work on uh, as uh, they progress. But uh, so far, they prefer to uh, stick uh, to that uh, one uh, angle. And uh, two couple of wides, I think. Uh, is she going to change the angle now? Yes, she is. Paulinas, she has heard me, isn't it? Yeah, what she was trying, Ricky, bowling round the wicket, yeah. uh, bowling over the wicket to the left hander. And she was trying to pitch it on the leg stump and take it away from the left hander because she's bowling in swing, right arm in swing. So that will be going away from the left hander now. But she has not got any movement. That's why it's going straight down the leg side. I think this is good. I, I would love to see her come around the wicket and target the stumps. Make Groovecock play across the line. She's removed the slip. Strengthen the onside field. There's a square leg now next to the umpire. Or mid wicket or mid on. Fine leg on the boundary. Goes wide outside the off stump, trying to overcompensate. She's uh, been a bit loose. This over net Ranjali. Somebody needs to come and uh, have a chat to her. This is uh, good to see. I think it's uh, Rashmika Sewan, the partner. Just having a word with her. That's good to see that the two partners having a word each other. Telling each other that you've got to control that line. Netranjali. That's a better delivery. But driven firmly but straight to the fielder. But the batsman managed to cross over for a single. Taking the score on to 12. So it gives an opportunity for Devin Aparin to have a strike. That's the line and length she needs to concentrate on Netranjali to the left hand. Now she has to uh, change over to Perrin, the right hand, change of angle, change of uh, field as well. It's interesting to see how they go about uh, bowling uh, to uh, Perrin. Fine leg on the boundary, square leg, mid wicket, mid on once again. Third man on the boundary, point, cover, extra cover, and mid off. 
Well, they have taken the slip off. I'm a bit surprised, Ricky, because uh, Nitranjali is trying to move the ball. There you are, bring it in that time. Got to have a slip field that for the edge. He had slight movement in that delivery. It's got a bit of uh, in dip into the uh, right hand, uh, right behind it. Irene. She hasn't got a lot of movement, that's the reason the slip field has come out. It's a nice, good delivery. That's the line of attack, she has to be bowling. So that's the end of the second over. England 13 for no loss. England 13 for no loss after two overs. Greg over on 10 for in a year to open her account. But Sri Lanka did well in their innings. Yeah. That's short and pulled away this time nicely. That's going towards the mid wicket boundary. Four more runs to Grevcock. Takes her on to 14. She's looking in excellent touch, the captain. She wants to make an impression in her last game uh, in this uh, on this uh, tour in Sri Lankan soil. She's been severe on the short ball. Well controlled once again, front of square. Yeah, Ricky, you're right because once they drop short, there's plenty of time for the batters to get off the back foot and hit it across the line. And that's exactly what all the batters, even the Sri Lankan batters did that. And now Greek uh, providing us with the, that opportunity she got and she pulled it away nicely. So when they got to pitch it up to her, Again, short outside the Austin this time, but uh, stroked away to the cow point fielder. No run. They're going at uh, 7.29 so far. Excellent start uh, to uh, England. Chasing down this uh, total, they're looking confident. Krukok said at the toss, this is a very good surface to bet on. And uh, they won't mind uh, chasing 240, so they've got what they needed. Seventeen for no loss, England. Ashmika Sevan, they batted very well, getting fifty fifty nine. Put on a good partnership with uh, Rashmi Nitranjali. These two opening bowlers. Two very good all rounders in the Sri Lankan lineup. It's a full delivery driven firmly this time. Got the gap between mid wicket and next mid on. That's gone to the boundary. Four more runs. Drewcock is on the attack, uh, Ricky. Oh, she has a big smile on her face. That was uh, a juicy full toss. Gleefully accepted. Put it away through that mid wicket region. Not a good start by the Sri Lankans with the new ball. They'll have to adjust quickly. They cannot let uh, England get away in this uh, power play. Sewandi batted brilliantly but hasn't started off with the ball well at all. It's again nicely driven on the onside. They cross over for a single. 21, 22 on the board, 19 coming off the bat of Grilcock. He's got his 19 runs of 14 deliveries. Sri Lanka got 226 while batting, so England need 227 to win this game for the 205 runs away. Going at a good run rate of 8.25 at the moment. So it's Davina Perrin facing to Sawandi. She's uh Pulled up a couple of times in a run-up as well. I, I think has she hurt her leg? I feel she's hopping around a bit. She 
doesn't look comfortable running up to the crease uh, to me, Paulinus. Seems that uh, she's probably just trying to finish this over off. And uh, you could see that uh, probably she will uh, go off the field, uh, get some attention to that. Seems that uh, she's having some sort of uh, issue. Yes, you're right, Ricky. Her run-up also doesn't seem to be that smooth. We saw her having a very smooth run-up. That shot down the leg side, pulled away nicely. There is a fine leg fielder who cuts it across. The umpires might want to have a look at it. But runs there. So three overs completed at 24 without loss. There you are, see the replay of that. Nicely worked away towards the final leg area. Good bit of fielding there. Very much inside the boundary. Ricky, you see those beautiful pictures of the golf fort. I want to put you in a spot of bother, Ricky. Do you know who originally built this? That's where I come from, the Dutch. Paulinus. No, sorry, it's wrong, Ricky. It was originally built by the Portuguese. Then the Dutch came in and uh, added so many things to it. I, okay. It was really originally built by the Portuguese in the 16th century. Paulinus, I didn't know you are that old. I'm not that old. That's history. Century? That's that's history of Sri Lanka. You've got to know these, Ricky. 24 for no loss, England. That's beautifully played. That's going towards the boundary. But there is a fielder there. No, the Dutch did a lot of work inside the port. They built the church also. Got wide of the crease this time, angling it away. It was officially played, got that a, a bit of a leading edge. And uh, through coming in uh, from the boundary, they managed to come back for two. And the wicket keeper wasn't happy that they considered two runs there. The fielder was a touch too slow. So Netaranjali is a ball in a second over. These two have been a slightly expensive. Haven't been a penetrative enough, but we know that the surface is a very flat. It's a hard work for the seamers. Even the England bowlers uh, went for a few runs, the uh, fast bowlers. That's nicely played again. Drew Cock playing very straight. Anything short, she gets on the back foot, pulls it or cuts it. She got 21 runs up to now. Perry not having much of the strike. She too must be wanting to have a go at it. That's again short and pulled away, but straight to the field at this time. She's disappointed with that. Krukak uh, now into innings. She'll be looking to play that uh, long innings for her team. That will be called wide again. Got a bit of a movement, no doubt, but uh, too wide by Rashmi. Atranjali. You need to be holding on that off thumb, just outside off thumb line. I thought the length was good in that delivery, but it was the line. That uh, was all over. You see, Ricky is taking away from the left-hander. So what I said, she should have a slip fielder, especially for the left-hander. That shot again, pulled nicely this time, beating the mid-wicket fielder. That's going towards the boundary. Four runs to Greyquad. Greyquad takes around to 25 and the score to... Four was completed, 31 without loss. 
Polines is uh, mixing up the Dutch and the Portuguese right now. Come on, Ricky. Got to know those things. That's uh, very good to know about those. Number two, change ball. Number two. Beautiful pictures, isn't it? I mean, picturesque. You can't ask for more. Look at the greenery. And then just outside, it's all blue. Beautiful indeed, if I'm not mistaken, after the Dutch, the British came in. The British used this, isn't it? Uh, quite a lot. The Dutch uh, fought away the British uh, from here as well. During that time. Change of bowling, I think, uh, spin into the attack. We hung out, rightly so. I think this is a good move uh, by uh, Manu Dinanikar, the captain, bringing uh, their steady bowler, Deumi Wianga, the off spinner who bowls a lot during the power plays. The two uh, seamers have uh, not bowled well. So Sri Lanka have to look to get a breakthrough, stem the flow of runs. <coughs> That's a good delivery flight and then. Uh, Wanting to bring the batsman on the front foot, but Devin Aparin deciding to go off the back foot. But giving plenty of time, the wicket is pretty slow, giving time for the batsman to have a look at it. Well, in us, there was this famous, uh, oh, that's huge, that's massive. That's going a long way, that's six. Cleared the ropes quite easily, that's uh, Davin Aparin for you. Soon as uh, she saw it, flight it above the iron line, came down the track. Not afraid to hit it uh, in the air. She knew she has the power to uh, clear the ropes and uh, confident shot by Perrin. Definitely she comes down the wicket and hits it straight over. Mid on. No stopping her. Must not give too much air to her. She'll be very quick at it. Oh, that's it, obviously. That could be a chance and be taken. Well taken there. Well, 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 this time playing too early. A leading edge, balloon in the air. The field, I think it was uh, Vimakshi. Is it the Balasurya? I think it's Vimoksha Balasurya who came under it from extra cover. She had to run in a long way and uh, she's held on to the catch. That was a good one. This is a prize wicket. She'll be disappointed. Davina Perrin. That was not a very good shot. Playing across the line and playing too early. Leading edge. Vyanga has struck. Sri Lanka needed this week at 37 for 1. Yes, this brings uh, Abigail Nogrove into bat, coming in at number three, 24. She got that 21 runs uh, in the previous game, average of 21, strike rate of 46.00. I think uh, these two are crucial now to England's runs chase. Two of their better players who are being among the runs, Grucock and Nogrove. They, of course, have Katie Jones uh, to follow, who played that uh, superb half-century, made that half-century the other day, and uh, Charis Pavley to come. But I'll tell you, uh, this uh, pair is very crucial, and uh, Sri Lanka can get another wicket. That yeah, will be a lot of pressure. Of, you see the wicket of Devin Aperin tried to work it away on the leg side, got the outside edge. Very good catch taken, no doubt about that. Mokshi Surya. What I was going to ask you is, uh, if you remember the famous Australian bowler who used to bowl with the cap on, right arm off spinner. Polinas. That's uh, short though. She's released the pressure. She's bowled such an excellent over. She knows that herself. Robin is short. And a no groove won't miss out on that one. Five overs completed. 41 for one. Right arm off spinner. Our Sri Lankan coach.
at one time is it Bruce Yardley no the the last I remember was in the early 90s visited Sri Lanka as well Craig Matthews from Australia bowled a lot with the cap so five overs gone England 41 for one they lost the wicket of Divina Parin for eight Drew Cock uh, playing very well you see the two worms of course still early days England has started off well but they have lost the wicket Sri Lanka's first wicket was at uh, 63 as I say good afternoon to Dhammika Hemant who has joined me in the box now good afternoon Dhammika very good afternoon Polly this is England's method of operation going hard up front <laughs> In line with the stumps, perhaps. The turn, taking it down the leg side. Praboda starting off. From the pavilion end, Gravecock looking dangerous. Timing all her deliveries really nicely. Done the bulk of the scoring. One dangerous batsman, of course, back in the hut this time. Into the deep. Safely done, just a single. England's run rate 7.8. That's their usual way of confronting the opposition, going hard at up front. And Grovecock 26 of 22. Few scintillating shots, Polly. Yes, definitely. She had been playing good shots. We like to have a look at that uh, replay. Let's see from both the 10 overs, 35 for 3. That's a very good bowling. 3 for 34. That was very close, I thought. That's worked away down the leg side. Good bit of bowling and good uh, bit of uh, tactics applied by the Sri Lankan captain. Quickly shifting on to sw spin instead of continuing with the fast bowlers. They straight away realized Grovecock as well as Perrin finding it very easy against fast bowlers. This line going straight. Keep it, keep it, keep it! Easily picked up a single, two fielders in mid off and mid off, mid on and mid off. Touch too deep. Well, right at good. the edge of the 30 yard circle and uh, conceding singles and English batters benefiting immensely. Well, that is a good bit of running, uh, Damika. Good calling and good understanding between the two batters. That's what is needed uh, in running between the wickets. Good understanding between the two batters and calling exactly correctly. Responding to the call should be the understanding for that. It's given out. So that's the end of Krivkok. He's She's gone for 26 and uh, Sri Lanka back in the game with 43 for 2. By slowing it down, Praboda does it. This is what usually you see from Praboda. Flight it generously. Back of a length. Certainly was an opportunity. There you go. Clearly. And outside edge, we got Kiva on that occasion. Neat work. Sri Lanka picking up the second. Dangerous no grow. Dangerous Grukok back in the hut. 43 for two. It's definitely a good bit of tactics supplied by the Sri Lankan captain, bringing the spin bowlers on. Change of pace. Uh, bringing good wickets for Sri Lanka. Well, now it's the opportunity for Surain Kumar. She's coming in. She looked a good player, no doubt about that. There you are. Amrita Surain Kumar coming in at number four. Well, she can work the ball around, get those singles and twos. That's exactly what the England camp might be looking at now. Usually came down the order. This time neatly played away towards extra cover region for no run. Surend Kumar, like I mentioned, played down the order during the T20 series as well as... Yeah, she didn't play against Australia. This time inviting the batsman to come down the track. This is good bowling straight away. As we're having another look at... The previous wicket by slowing it down. Grew cock 
quite clearly try to smash the way towards cover region. This time, good piece of fielding. And good calling by two English batters out there in the middle. Could have easily been a mix up. Now, Sri Lanka slowly but surely bringing the run rate down, which is important because England got off to a rollicking start, Polly. Yes, definitely that is the early stages of the innings. A couple of wickets have pulled it back, definitely. And change of pace going into spin. Sri Lanka did well. That's worked away nicely to the third man boundary. Four runs to no grow. Takes it on to nine. And the England score on to 47. A very good over up until then. Outside the house, now a little bit of room. There you go, outside edge. Clearly was away from the slip fielder no chance of course another boundary England once again getting a move on Sri Lankans opting to have a slip fielder now that's nicely driven that's going towards the boundary well fielded there a couple of uh, meters inside the boundary Sri Lanka, for a fact, knows that they are preventing only 227 runs. For the same reason, they need to be extra cautious on the field, extra tight. It'll be interesting to see 110% effort by young Sri Lankan under-19 team against a strong team. Of course, we all know that. That's well flighted by them in hunger. Bringing Surya Kumar forward, defensive. That's the end of the seventh over. It's 48 for two. Scorecard so far. Griff Cox started off really nicely, 26 of 24. And no Grove starting to look comfortable. Surya Kumar yet to get off the mark four extras Sri Lanka pulling things back really nicely by picking up two wickets it's Tavina Perrin trying to take it away from the Sri Lankans good bit of tossing up delivery that's nicely played this time Gita, by Gita, Sri Gita. Kumar the batsman crossing over for two so with that two uh, takes the score on to 50 and now Grove moves on to 12 England needing 177 runs more to win this game with eight wickets in hand. A good opportunity for Sri Lanka to get back into the game. They can get a couple of wickets early. They can put a lot of pressure on the England batters because they have a fairly decent total to play with. Yeah, they got a score on the board. 226, bit of an in between score. I think par score would be on this track 240. But Sri Lanka aimed to go past 230, falling just short. Despite few hiccups in the middle, they were never having the sort of continuation they would have hoped for facing against a strong English outfit. They had partnerships, they've been adding momentum all of a sudden. Momentum broke. Flight of delivery nicely in line with the stumps. No opportunity for Surya Kumar to free her arms. Another dot ball for Boda in the middle of a very good spell. Well, what the Sri Lankans will be wanting is uh, Chamudi Pramoda to get a couple of wickets. She did it in the very first over. She's definitely the best option for Sri Lankan spin department. She's bowled very well right throughout the series. Just 14 years of age, coming from Munaragala. Young Chamudi Pramoda. Sri Lankan captain going very quickly to her. 51 for 2, England. Played straight. Finds a gap and another boundary. What a way to start your account, Suren Kumar. Beautifully struck. Straight down the ground. They see officially, but straight delivery. Straight down the ground. Well, I thought the fielder could have cut it across, but uh, she couldn't do it. So that's a boundary to Surain Kumar. Takes the England score on to 55. 
That shot this time off the back foot. Pushed it on the offside, no run. Uh, promo that should. Uh, oh, that's the end of the data. Let's talk about it later. Eight overs gone, 55 for two. Always good to see a few people coming in in support for both the teams, especially Sri Lanka expecting the support from cricket loving people, Sri Lanka, Cricket Mad Island, Asuran Kumar. Match the ball, gentle push of the front foot, straight to the field at point position for no run. Bihanga with a big responsibility of course with bat had few chances not taken only managing to score 25 this time coming down the track straight to the fielder at mid off region for another dot ball by bowling dot ball Sri Lanka obviously create pressure but the fielders has to be a little more vigilant we've seen few fielding lapses so far it's definitely Vihanga putting a lot of pressure on uh, Nogro, looking to get on with the game. Tossing that ball up, bringing the batsman down the wicket, inviting her to come down the wicket and drive. A little bit of uh, mistiming can create a problem. This is exactly what Vihanga is trying to do. Again, it's tossed up and driven firmly this time. Well fielded. There is a miss up there. But still, the batsman managed to cross over for a single. This is what I call being vigilant in the field. Sri Lankan fielders got caught on their heels far too often than they used to. Today, especially, Gripcock started off by attacking. I played across the ground, across the line rather, picks up another single, there are protection, field of course, still only two fielders outside the 30 yard circle, on that occasion one down in the big bigot region. That was tossed up again, this time outside the Austam, Wehanga tossing it up well, and no Grove letting it go to the wicket keeper. No run, so nine overs gone, 57 for two. Run rate of 6.33. Well, then we get the way the English batters has taken the game on. I think the Sri Lankans only option will be if they want to win this game to get the 10 wickets because uh, if England bats are 50 overs I think I'm sure they will take the game so that's nicely swept away that time towards the mid wicket region gets a single you said it right Polly in that bat anywhere close to 50 overs this game is theirs played beautifully by Surren Kumar straight to the field at Bindigat region. Good positioning. Coming down the wicket, Surren Kumar drives firmly. A very quick single taken. Yes, the fielders should be looking out for that run out. There is opportunity. These two batters trying to get quick runs as possible. There should be more alert in the field. Got to cut those singles. That's what is needed. Taking singles all that easy will make England's scores a very easy one. Of course, from time to time, you expect some loose stuff from any team. This time. Goes Ariel, 
No field there. Picks up another boundary. Surend Kumar looks dangerous already. Picked up two boundaries this time. Gone all the way. For a moment, thought that one bounced once before reaching the boundary line. And Surend Kumar goes aerial and picks up another six. England moving along at a hectic pace. Oh, beautifully struck. Cut to the pitch of the ball. Made solid connection. There you go. England 65 looking good. Sri Lanka needing a breakthrough. Prabodha, though slowing it down. Surend Kumar coming down the track, meeting the ball and make a solid connection. Surend Kumar looks good today. She looked good right throughout, but she couldn't get convert that into a good score. But today she's looking to have a good innings, coming in at number four. Much better, straight in line with the stump, little quicker. Both have variations, completes her third. After ten, England 65 for two. That's a signal by the umpire marking the beginning of the second power play Sri Lanka. Very important stage. Vihanga having picked up a wicket striving for something special she was due for a better performance for Sri Lanka right throughout the series pull a length straight to the fielder for no run Ricky once again joins me in the com box it's a steady partnership here yeah, and they're going at a very good rate even though they lost two wickets 6.39 well ahead of the required run rate Oh, straight into the fielder's hand. No group has given it away. I was just going to say that's another juicy full toss. And no group has just uh, worked it straight into that mid wicket uh, fielder. And she didn't go hard at it. She didn't try to uh, hammer that to the boundary. All she was trying to do was just uh, work it into the gap on the all side, chipped it away, and just straight to the fielder. Simple catch. And the Sri Lanka have uh, picked up their third wicket against the run of play. Out yes. for 14. A new group. Prabodha, the catcher, 65 for 3 England. As a bowler, you consider yourself lucky. Not going for runs by bowling a full toss, but Vihanga, very fortunate, dangerous. Katie Jones comes in at number five, very enterprising, very adventurous, innovative, whichever way you call it. Fantastic knock against Australia a couple of days back. Taken England up to 239. Their innings worse in status until she came in there you go 57 runs averaging 57 excellent strike rate one two three point nine well i think she's the key to this uh, run chase uh, no doubt about that big i like this captaincy straight away a slip comes in good thinking by manu dinane Kara, the captain just employing some pressure trying to do something different they know that katie jones is is the crucial wicket here they don't have uh, Jersey grooves in this game as well. So this is uh, the big fish. The others haven't scored too many runs. And uh, with the three wickets down now, certainly the scoreboard pressure will come in. What Sri Lanka needs is a few uh, dot balls, a few maiden overs. Try to build up that pressure. And look at that Vihanga. Full toss. She Wasn't she happy? Because that could have been put away anywhere. The, no groove wanted. But all she did was chip it straight to the field. That celebration out of my stationer's book. Oh, very well, Paul. 
after picking up a wicket, slowing it down on a good length. Surin Kumar had to defend that one stoutly. Line loud okay, shot. Now. There's no fielders. So square leg shot, square leg fielder has to come around and pick it up. Another single to complete the 11th Sri Lanka. 67 for 3. Yes, uh, after this, they have uh, Pavely to follow. She's uh, a very good bat as well. But then Maddie Ward hasn't done too much with the bat uh, in this uh, tournament. Uh, then they have the bowlers, uh, the likes of uh, Stonehouse. She's very capable. But then they have Taylor, Smale. So there's uh, not much Ava Lee to follow. So just probably uh, a couple of more wickets and you will feel that England are down to their low order. To me, this partnership is very crucial for England's run chase. They have to... I try to bat for a few overs, try to build up this uh, partnership, get back on track. Sri Lanka quite clearly got rid of two dangerous batters, Krukok and Perrin. Very well bold, slowed it down on a good play. Suren Kumar had no option but to defend that one. This is what Sri Lanka has to do, slow things down, be vigilant in the field. Pick up wickets. This time goes Ariel. Above the fielder's head for a boundary. Surend Kumar. Attacking mode. Yes, sir. She's looking very confident, Surend Kumar. She's playing some good shots. Not afraid to take the aerial route. Not afraid to clear the infield. She's been successful so far. She's had limited opportunities with the bat, we could call it. Yes, sir. She played a couple of the T20s uh, in one game played loose, got out early. The other game she was not out, came right at the end and uh, when England were winning didn't play the earlier 50 over game versus Australia. So today is the, probably the opportunity the ideal opportunity come in early, run chase a lot of overs to bat. She can space out the innings, take her time. So this is uh, probably the platform for Suren uh, Kumar to show what she's capable of with the batter for the England under-19s. Surin Kumar on a ball 17 so far looking good. Stump of the back foot straight to the field at cover region for no run. Praboda. I'm starting to see a little bit of quickness in her bowling. Usually very slow. There you go this time. Slower, a little bit of bounce. Very good stuff to complete the 12th. Sri Lanka 72 for 3. This is the worm, something usual with England, starting off, bang, bang, bang. Skipper for today, Grivcock, some scintillating timing was on display before the dismissal. Losing three wickets, Sri Lanka got off to a fantastic start and cluster of wicket when they were at 63. So Sri Lanka will be hoping something similar, they can pick a few quick wickets straight away can put breaks on England scoring Vihanga oh, another juicy full toss luckily played straight to the hands of extra cover fielder Vihanga quite clearly trying to toss it up generously playing across the line goes to the deep and picks up another boundary this is intelligent batting Suren Kumar straight away knew there are no fielders behind the stumps for Vihanga so gets it fine take a look beautiful batting good hands rolled the wrist really well to keep it down she's uh, playing uh, a good a little confident knock here Surin Kumar certainly she likes his surface and uh, Taken a like into it early. Playing late. You could see the shots she's playing. She's batting confidently. She's got the measure of the bowlers. Vyanga has uh, once again been the go to bowler. 
has got the breakthroughs for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka need another wicket here just to drag things back because Australia are well ahead of the required run rate but wickets you know can uh, put a lot of pressure it can bring down that uh, uh, run rate uh, rather drastically Sri Lanka deploying oh yes that's the wicket they were after dangerous Skerry Jones walks back stumps are rattled Vihanga picks up her third Beautifully bowled, gave it a bit of a yeah. poor shot selection from Jones. She's the informed player. Going across the line, trying to hike it uh, towards that square leg region. Missed it completely, off stump and knock back. Sri Lanka certainly in the driving seat. Katie Jones departs for one. Vianga picks up a third, 77 for four. England got off to a rollicking start thanks to skipper Jody Grovecock. Quite a few scintillating boundaries at Sri Lanka having picked up four wickets now they believe they have a really good chance of walking back into this game Vihanga outstanding figures though little expensive side 23 runs inside five overs but wickets nevertheless carries Pavli another left-hander who batted well against Australia the other day and I'm sure Together with Sura and Kumar looking to build up another partnership. Run rate coming down at the moment. Six and over. Yes, Sir Charles Pavley. She needs to play a big innings here. Has got the start 23 in the last game. But uh, even in the last game, though she got to 23, she looked uncomfortable. Gave a couple of chances, if you remember. Damika, which the Australians uh, failed to hang on to. Oh, that's well bowled. This is good, good cricket by Sri Lanka. The pile in on the pressure here. 13 overs completed at 77 for 4. This is how the last wicket fell. Straight in line with the stumps. Katie Jones we saw against the Aussies. Played quite a few similar shots. This time made no connection. Stumps are rattled. Dangerous Katie Jones walks back. And Sri Lanka in with a chance. Go after the fell of wicket, run rate gradually slow down 5.92, needing 150. Having a look at the bowling for Sri Lanka, Vihanga pick up the bowlers so far 3 4 23. And this young lady picked up a wicket for Sri Lanka, Proboda 1 for 21. Now it's time to steady things up in the middle. Fielders need to support the bowlers. Nicely put away this time, but there is a fielder right down the boundary. Just a single to Surin Kumar. Surin Kumar to me looks a little bit of busy player looking for the runs. She's on 23 of 23 deliveries. England 78 for four. From other bowling her fifth over, one for 22. She's done well, very well right throughout the series. And Sri Lanka needs a couple of wickets from her. They may be hunger providing them with all the breakthroughs needed. Taken already three wickets out of the four to fall. England need 149 runs, but they got to keep it down. Oh, that's uh, that could be a bad mess. But I could not hold on to the return catch. Well, this is where the bowlers need to do be ready for their return chance. That comes their way. They got to grab those. If they cannot hold catches of their own bowling, you can't expect others to hold those. That one just didn't stick. Didn't struck all that firmly. Still Proboda. 
This time once again goes across the line. Possible catch. We'll have another look. Good effort in the field. Ricocheted off her hand. Fielder. The deep bit, uh, short bit digger region. 147 needs of 36.2 overs. Easy enough. It's about taking up wickets. There you go. Very powerful. Oh, would have been a stunner. Great attempt there. But unfortunately could not hold on. That's a good delivery. All the England batters trying to play on the back foot mostly. So with the tossing that up well. Pavley getting off the back foot. Committing herself to work it on the leg side. You see this time again off the back foot. Pushed it back behind the bowler. They get a single. Well, taking the score on to 81. In the dugout, looks relatively relaxed. 5.79, not a big ask. Required run rate below four runs at the moment. Sri Lanka need to do something special. Proboda should be vigilant of fielding off her own bowling. That previous catch was previous chance was definitely catchable. 146 needed, as I mentioned. Surin Kumar. She's the one who controlling things for England in the middle. Pavli, supporting role. Well, Pavli might be keen on giving Surin Kumar the support. Surin Kumar got 24 of 24 deliveries. Well, that's exactly the the two batters might be thinking. They got to build up a good partnership. England still needing a further 145 runs to can win this game with six circuits intact. So what is needed uh, is these two batters to get on with the game and uh, probably to play the second fiddle because Surin Kuma has been on the runs now, 24 Lifted. runs coming off 25 deliveries. The fielders inside the 30-yard circle, their responsibility is to cut down singles. This time going down the ground for another single. Like I mentioned, fielders inside the 30-yard circle, their responsibility is to cut down singles. But whenever English batters head straight to them, they've been picking up singles with ease. That's not something good for Sri Lanka. They have to create opportunities, run out opportunities. This time goes Ariel once again. Short of the field, uh, poor piece of fielding. As I was mentioning about the fielding, fielding starting to fall apart for Sri Lanka. Not something good. Well, we hung her trying to toss the ball up and Pebbly again off the back foot, pushing it towards mid wicket. Yes, uh, poor bit of feeling there, you see. Pushing it on the towards the mid wicket, it could have stopped easily. That's, I think, for both of the fielder there. That's poor bit of fielding. You've got to stop those runs. That is what is important for the Sri Lankans to make things tight. 140 more runs needed. Surin Kumar on 25, Pebbly on 7. We have the, the pick of the Sri Lankan bowlers, 3 for 29. We have the moment. Bowlers doing a good job. Making things tighter. Hitting good lines and lengths. We have guy in particular. That boundary should have definitely protected. And her figures for this over should have been much better instead so far considered six Good runs boy. little mind games not completing the delivery stride Vihanga comes back Vihanga bowled pretty well 3 for 29 her figures outside the Oscar and walked away nicely towards the <laughs> That's a run out. That surely is the run out. Will anyway go upstairs? Ravindra Kottachi. We'll have a look.
Okay, uh, batsman will short of the crease when the ball is off. I made my decision, decision out. Focus the light, please. Very enterprising Suren Kumar works back. Yes. Another wicket no goes down. Break. Sri okay. Lanka needed this. Suren Kumar starting to look dangerous. 25 runs of 26 and she walks back dejectedly. Good innings nevertheless. 25 runs. Run out Netranjali. Excellent piece of fielding. We've spoken about fielders at the edge of the 30 yard circle not being vigilant on that occasion. Played straight to her hands. Good return. Well, it was uh, firmly played into the hands of the fielder and they decided to go for the single. And uh, it was pretty unfortunate. Sure Kumar go, uh, Suren Kumar gets to, gets to walk back with uh, 25. England in deep trouble now, 87 for 5. Someone has to play a wonderful innings if they want to win this game. Sri Lanka very much in command. 15 overs gone, 87 for 5. Okay, so this is 87 for 5 England at this stage. We are having our drinks breakdown. And uh, it will be interesting to see how Sri Lanka will adjust after the drinks break. As we go down to Ricky Sims, who has someone down there in the middle. Well, it's the uh, second uh, drinks interval in this uh, innings, and uh, Sri Lanka look uh, well in control of the game uh, at the moment. We have with us uh, the uh, manager, Mr. Hemant uh, Devapriya. Are you happy with the proceedings? Yeah, well, uh, they, are, they are catching up the game because there is a big improvement when you compare the first match and this match because they have uh, learned a lot uh, from the first match and uh, they are doing accordingly, I mean, they are doing well at the moment. You have been around uh, women's cricket for a long time, selector, coach, now manager. Uh, how good this has this uh, tournament, the T20s and the 50 overs, been for the development of uh, Sri Lanka? Exactly, cricket? because I am still selector. Okay, this uh, extra uh, work given to me as manager. And, uh, well, uh, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this is the best two teams we are playing because second and the third best teams. So they are learning fast because they know how much they have to improve and what are the, what are the standards they have to develop. So they are, this bunch is a very skillful bunch and uh, they are learning very fast because we, we know that uh, uh, their skill will develop uh, to a you know, good uh, good standards time to come. So we are we are we are training them and we are we are pushing them to reach those standards. And uh, they are they are day by day they are improving, and that's a good thing because uh, when you play with the good teams, they learn a lot. So it is good that this tournament is. I mean, uh, when you it is very ben beneficial because uh, I mean they know where they have to go at the end of the the day. Is there any upcoming uh, tours of this uh, nature for these under-19s before the World Cup next year? Yeah, we, 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 have, uh, we, have to, uh, we have a tour to Australia, then the World Cup. We are trying to get one in between. So, uh, th this is a process, I mean, they are, they are how, they, how we can develop these players up to the next level. So, uh, we are very keen on improving these girls because they have started this game at the very, very, very uh, early, early age, so they are for, they have enough time, full time. So uh, we are, we are trying to push them to get the, uh, get up to the best standards they can reach. Well, uh, the game has begun after the water break. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for just a uh, few minutes. Wishing you the best of luck as a manager, as a selector, and of course uh, the Sri Lankan under 19s to go from uh, strength to strength. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. That was Ricky Sims down there with the Sri Lankan girls manager, Hemant uh, Devapriya. Well, meanwhile, England have uh, taken their total on to 88. With Maggie Ward, uh, Maggie Ward coming into bat. Beverly on 8. Sri Lanka getting England in a, a, a little bit of a tight spot, isn't it, Damika? Definitely. As you mentioned right at the beginning, picking up wickets. 
the name of the game for Sri Lanka. Picked up five of them. Previous wicket due to a good piece of fielding. Once again goes Ariel. Picking up a single into the gap luckily for Maddie Wood. Done an exceptionally good job behind the stumps for England. I think she's the number one wicket keeper for England if I'm not mistaken. You see the last wicket to fall. A very good run out there. Good bit of fielding and return coming right up the players close. And that's another wicket to go. No, that's the run out. Really a run out. Good bit of fielding. Sri Lanka picked up the sixth. 89 for six. Proboda caught and ball. We mentioned she need to be vigilant on her fielding of her own bowling. There you go. Pavli hard hands into the this time. Very well taken. Youngest member of the squad. Really nice. They picked that up. Sri Lanka. Got their noses in front now. Pavli walks back for eight. Well, that was a very good catch by Proboda. We thought uh, earlier when she dropped, we were talking about that she should be holding on to those catches, and this one was very well taken. Get the wicket of uh, Pavli. Proboda has balling figures of two for 27. The new batter in, walking in at number eight is. Uh, Sophia Smile, she did very well with the ball. Now a lot is expected uh, from her to provide a very good innings for England at this stage. England struggling at 89 for six. Sri Lanka has stuck at regular intervals. They see the average of 26, strike rate of 86.60. This is her second game of the one-day tri-series matches. Played against uh, Australia earlier. That's worked away nicely towards the mid on. They get a single and no run there, sorry. It's no run. 89 for six, England after 16 overs. This is the last wicket. Flighted, going down the ground. Try to chip that one over the bowler's head, but Proboda, very well done. Picking up her second series or inroads into England batting. Now it's all about continuing the good things. Vihanga, in the middle of a very good spell. Proboda on the other end, doing exactly what's expected of her. We are going to continue bowling a seventh over. Well, England batters, these two batters got to put up a good partnership if they got to get back into this game. Six wickets down for 90 runs. Sri Lanka very much on top, getting wickets at regular intervals. Lingering run rate is 5.57, but remember they have lost six wickets at this stage. It's another flight and delivery. Pushing the batsman forward in defense. That's Mel. At this stage, Sri Lanka quite clearly in front, slowing things down. And Gimhani yet to come. Left arm Chinaman. So they have the variety in their attack. 90 for 6. There you go. By slowing things down making things tougher for English batters. This time outside the off stump finds a fielder. Sri Lanka just about continuing to do good things they've done so far. Be alert on the field. They, by being alert they picked up a run out and there you go down the ground straight to the fielder. Now the dot ball. What's most interesting in this Sri Lankan team is how they have adjusted from the previous game to this game. Well, they batted second with an Australian total of 230 odd runs and they were under pressure. But here, Sri Lankan batted first and put the total up and putting England under pressure. Sri Lankan bowling have been pretty good right throughout. So 17 overs gone, it's 90 for 6.
during support, very keenly watching the proceedings in the middle. Always good to see. And you have also seen some supporters cheering for Sri Lanka. Goal, such a fantastic place to watch cricket. Smell. Off the bat foot, very slow. I was about to say, Smell was someone who can stick there for a long time. A moment ago, we saw her figures. This time coming down the track, straight to the fielder. After picking up wickets, Sri Lankan's confidence now on a higher level, spring in their heels. Well, these two spinners, Proboda and uh, Vihanga, really put the Sri Lankans back into the game. Well, soon as the pace bowlers were taken off and the spinners introduced, Sri Lankan bowlers have been looking pretty good. Vihanga getting the early breakthroughs and very well supported by Proboda. Proboda 2 for 28, also bowling her second, seventh over. But there is, this is what Sri Lanka got to keep a note of. Vihanga will be having only three more overs and so with Proboda after this over. Yes, as you said, uh, Gimhani is there to come in. But uh, they'll be missing Hiro Nihansika today. She was left out to provide opportunities for the other players. There you go, ricocheted off extra cover fielder, picking up another single. Proboda still only conceding two runs, looking very good. Two for 29. Just about to complete her seventh. Sri Lanka got to move on. They need to pick wickets. This time once again off the back foot. Now real pace straight to the fielder. Completes another very good over. Just two runs off. After 18, 92 for six. Those are the wickets who have fallen. Very well taken. That's the price cap. No grow. Katie Jones perishes. That's the run out. Very well done. And Sri Lanka picked up six wickets. But their job not still done. 92 runs needing only 135 which means they got to keep picking up wickets good throw would have been interesting not to be Vihanga comes into her eighth so far outstanding spell three for 31 Polly yes definitely it will be interesting to see what uh, one of the Nanakara's tactics will be well after this over Vihanga will be left with just two overs and if uh, Chambudi Pramoda also continues to bowl from the other end, so she got to understand that whether she wants to keep these bowlers a bit more or take them off and uh, bring them back. That's a drop chance there. They were doing good stuff and creating opportunities. Here comes the opportunity and not taken. Could this be costly? Ninety-three for six, England. Oh, Eddie oh, Ward uh, unable to read the spin of Debbie. Oh, there you see the chance. Oh, that would have been an easy catch. Dropped. Pretty unfortunate. Demi Vihanga would have had a fourth wicket had that catch been taken. England 93 for 6. So one Vihanga. more delivery remaining in this over. <laughs> Once again, try to come down to hit it away, but uh, push it back to the yoke bowler. 19 overs gone, it's 93 for 6.
There you go, Sri Lanka Rupwani Corporation, experienced cameraman, providing us these lovely pictures. Thank you so much. Right in front of Gold Cricket Clubhouse. Current run rate 4.89. Another flight at delivery in line with the stump, another dot pole. Proboda sticking to good lines and lengths. Vihanga doing a good job. Previous over opportunity created. Sri Lanka can't miss. This time pierces the gap. Chase is on. Ball wins. Four more runs after quite a while. Polly. Yes, that's a welcome boundary for England. And small getting uh, that boundary, taking the England total on to 97. There you see of the back foot and pushing it nicely between the cow point and the extra cover fielder. There was a long chase, but uh, definitely they were able to reach the boundary. So England will have to need a good partnership by these two batters. 97 for 6. Still a long way to go. You see a couple of dot deliveries before they got that boundary. First in the last 18 deliveries. 130 more to win this game. Run rate of 5.02. That's a beautiful delivery. Nearly took the off stump. Stroboda, who's also bowling her 8th over. This time was much fuller in line with the stump. Little bit of turn almost took the edge of the uh, off stump. Proboda for a moment thought. She picked the wicket. Oh, agonizingly close. Perhaps a cord of varnish. Well, that was really completely beaten that time, the previous one. Very unfortunate, Proboda. This time, they cross over for a single. A single to takes the score on to 98. Coming down the wicket, hit up straight to the middle of fielder. That's another wicket to Proboda. 3 for 30 for her bowling figures up to now. So that's the end of Maddie Ward. She walks back for 3. Maddie Ward finding it difficult to handle Proboda. Getting a nice little drift. A little bit of purchase of the track. Previous delivery almost kisses the stump. This one quite clearly into the hands. And Sri Lanka this time hanging on. Which is what needed two bowlers out there in the middle doing exactly what was asked of them creating opportunities Sri Lanka should be vigilant to take them this time however England 7 down 98 for 7 Sri Lanka quite clearly head and shoulders above England this is Mary Taylor built a fantastic partnership together with Katie Jones against the Australia if you remember in at number nine walking into a different situation England under tremendous pressure there you go 33 not out she'll be hoping to repeat her performances against Australia not the best strike rate strike rate not an issue for England at this stage Beautifully bowled straight away. Neatly tucked that one for a single to complete the 20th. England 99 for 7. This is how the last wicket fell. Invitation extended and Ward obliges and perishes. Isn't she happy? Youngest member of Sri Lanka under 19 squad doing outstandingly well.
বাড়া মাবা এ সেটা সেটা সো শ্রী লঙ্কা এট দি স্টেজ নিডিং জাস্ট থ্রি মোর উইকেটস ইংল্যান্ড নিডিং 128 রানস কোয়াইট ক্লিয়ারলি Sri Lanka in front Rihanga outstanding job so is Proboda picking up six wickets among them not conceding too many runs and Rihanga bowled eight overs and if I'm not mistaken Proboda to have bowled eight overs very well bowled once again gets it into the gap chase is on put that one inside the boundary line two batters only interested in going for a single quite clearly two was on not taken center 100 comes on the board 100 for 7 we hang a 3 for 32 looks like we hang is going to ball out scoring a ninth over so that will be the same similar case with probada most probably sri lanka looking to finish off things with these two bowlers they're going for the wickets that's exactly what they got to do at this stage Go for the three wickets and try to finish it off early. Don't allow the batters to settle down. Taylor is quite capable of uh, getting some runs. She's on three, uh, two, and Smale on seven. England batters at this stage finding it tough to penetrate gaps. Better moving away. Bihaga, someone who completes her over quite quickly. Always good to see. This time, Bihaga pulling out. Reasons unknown. Nevertheless, Bihaga in the middle of a very good spell. Good start to the over. A dot ball and a single. Outside edge, quite clearly. She picks up her fourth. Sri Lanka dominating. Eight down for 100. England looking down the barrel. Smell the batsman got out of the back foot. Tentative push. Found the outside edge, Rihanga picking up her fourth. This is outstanding. Sri Lanka against all lots in front. Taylor still in the middle, someone who can handle pressure situation quite well. Alexa Stonehouse walking into the middle. So there you are, 100 for 8 England, 20.3 overs, Alexa Stonehouse, a new batter that has come in, we hung a 4 for 32 and uh, Koboda also getting 4 wickets, so the main wicket takers that stroked away nicely towards the fine leg boundary, so Stonehouse gets off the mark with that boundary. Taking the England score on to 104 for 8. Quite clearly, wasn't the bad piece of bowling. A little bit of turn. Took the inner part of the bat. Stonehouse picking up a boundary. Always a good start. There you go. Neatly worked away. Very well bowled. For Sri Lanka, it's about keep chipping in. Outstanding spell. Vihanga. Proboda. Able is supported. Sri Lanka defying all odds. Strong England looking vulnerable. Once again, outer half of the bat. Will it go all the way? Not quite. Pull it back. Two runs easily taken. Completes the 21st. 106 for 8. There you go once again. Excellent piece of bowling. Expected that one to turn. Not too much turned. Took the outside edge. Another wicket down.
So it's uh, Prabhu that continue. Prabhu that has uh, 3.35. We have uh, uh, four wickets. So they have shared uh, seven wickets between them and one run out. England 106 for eight. It's a toss up delivery hit firmly. Bat. That's fallen short at the boundary. The batsman made by the batters cross over for two. Taking the score on to 110 or 108. Yes, sir. This is what the scoreboard pressure can do, uh, Paulinus. Runs on the boat. Doesn't matter what the format is, what age group it is, uh, what level of cricket it is. It's always a uh, difficult uh, chasing, and especially if you bowl well, if the conditions. Uh, suit you as well then you're in with the in, in the game and uh, Sri Lanka did well certainly did well uh, to get to that uh, uh, total and, uh, they have uh, kept on building the pressure after the first few overs uh, England were looking good but soon as uh, the spinners uh, came on the game uh, started uh, to turn uh, these bowlers uh, like these uh, conditions they bowled a pull uh, they kept it straight and uh, made uh, the batters uh, do the mistakes uh, been a couple of drop chances. If they took those chances, probably the game would have been over by now as well. Yes, sir. What interests me is uh, the sudden turn of things after the spinners came into ball. Both these two spinners, of course, they have both tandemly at uh, now. Provoda is bowling a ninth over, and Vihanga already completed nine. So 18 overs between those two, they changed the game completely. A few loose shots as well by the England batters. I thought uh, that uh, wicket of uh, Noor Groove uh, hitting a full toss straight to mid wicket. We saw the informed Jones uh, trying to go across the line, missing one and her stumps were knocked back. That run out of uh, Surin Kama, that was unnecessary. She was batting uh, so well. So there's been uh, a few uh, loopholes in the England uh, batting. But the Sri Lankans overall, they have a bowl. Well, that's a good shot. Stone out, stand it all. It was short. And. Uh, Punched it into the uh, offside. That's a welcome boundary. 22 completed, 113 for eight. Last over. Last over. So 4 for 38, Vihanga, she's one of the uh, more experienced uh, of these under-19s and uh, she certainly bowled well, no doubt. She's bowled the uh, correct lengths, lines, speeds, made life difficult for the England batters. And uh, at the moment, Sri Lanka just uh, two wickets away from a victory. Warmly hit down the ground. Stone knows uh, Taylor this is time. This time it's Mary Taylor gets a boundary. Well, these two spinners have really bowled well, so they bowl uh, all the 10 overs continuously. We hung the bowling her 10th. That's because you see the replay of that. Nicely put away, straight past the bowler. Yes, uh, Manu Dinanekar has employed two slips, but I, I feel probably that uh, second slip could uh, come in. Maybe here to a short mid wicket region because we have seen most of the wickets, the catchers that have gone have gone in uh, to those uh, short extra cover, short mid wicket, those regions. Uh, with the speed, Vianga is bowling and looking at the surface, it's hardly you are going to get a catch to the second slip. Maybe somebody in front of the wicket in a catching position might uh, be even better, just under that eye line. Something good with these two spinners, they're controlling that pace of the delivery. That's where, you know, the wicket is slow, the ball is not coming up to the bat, and that's where the batsmen are struggling to get those shots. At goal, that's one of the key factors. The pace you bowl, if you be too slow, you'll be punished. If you bowl too, uh, too quick as well, it is easier for the batters. The pace, the variation of pace, the speed you bowl on these kind of surfaces are crucial. And uh, England haven't been able to adjust. That's another good delivery by Vahanga. 
Since John now's uh, on the front foot, both these two batters have entered double figures. Remember when the last wicket fell at 100, so now they're 118 for eight. We hung up bowling the final delivery of a spell. She has four for 43 up to now. Loud appeal trying to work it down the leg side. She was looking for a fifer in that last ball of a spell. Well bowled, we hung up. Four for 43 of a 10 overs. She certainly put Sri Lanka in a commanding uh, position. Outstanding spell. The final game of this uh, tournament. And uh, she's uh, delivered uh, with the ball. 23 completed, 118 for 8. So now we have uh, the youngster Proboda to uh, bowl. Known, uh, she's the smallest of this group, better known as uh, Bhatti among her colleagues and uh, most uh, who are playing the game. And she has a big smile, hasn't she bowled well? Yes, definitely she has bowled really well. 3 for 42 of 9 overs bowling, her final over two. Uh, Manu Dinanakara allowing these two spinners to bowl at tandem. 20 overs between them. Chained the game upside down. When they came into bowl, England were right on top. A run rate of about 6.8 something per over. Now the 118 for 8. They got the wickets at regular intervals. That's firmly hit straight to the field and mid on. So that's a promo that gets a fourth. And England 118 for 9. That was a good catch. They have smiles on their faces. Aren't they happy? Proboda is happy as well. She just tossed it up. Come and hit me, she says uh, to Taylor. Taylor went for it. But the mid-on field had good hands. That came quickly to her. And uh, the ninth wicket down. Balasuria, hasn't she been good? She she in the field held on to a couple of good catches, a crucial one of a Perrin earlier round. Though she failed with the bat, she has certainly contributed in the field. 118 for nine. Ava Lee in at number 11. Not known for a batting. Well, England certainly looking down the tunnel now. So almost uh, over for them in this uh, tournament. Sri Lanka lost their first game to Australia, but th they will pick up a win here versus England, which is huge, huge in this format. Yes, they beat England and both Australia in the T20s. But this would be even bigger because they have played very little or not, if not not at any 50 over cricket at all. And uh, to come and beat a side like England is a massive for these young Sri Lankans. Well, Ricky, looking at the game against Australia. That's it, that's it, it's gone. And she gets a 5 for Prabhupada gets 5 for 42. And England all out for 118. What a game this has been for the Sri Lankan girls. They have beat the mighty English. Here in goal. What a performance. 5 for 42 in 9.3 overs. The youngster Proboda. What a fitting end to this game. What a fitting end to the tournament. The youngest of them all picking up 5 for 42. Taking Sri Lanka to a victory. This is a huge victory. This is a momentous uh, victory uh, for the uh, Sri Lankan side. Well, there you see the happy bunch of Sri Lankan cricketers. They really got the better of England. Proboda getting five and uh, Vihanga getting four. Bundled England out for 118 in the chase of 227 to win this game. What a wonderful game this has been. Sri Lanka won by 108 runs. Manudinana Kara had some tricks under her trade because uh, she brought in the two spinners very early in the innings. Proboda there you see leading the side with 5 for 42, 5 for 42. 
and Wehanga was not very much behind with 4 for 43. Beautiful stuff. What a story it is. A resounding victory for Sri Lanka. No one expected. Defying all odds, 108 runs, the victory margin against a very strong English outfit. Australia as well as England on top of the world when it comes to women's cricket and young Sri Lankans rubbing shoulders against them and completed very decent T20 series and what a finish to the limited over series. Those are the wickets. The last wicket. Plum in front. Straight in line with the stumps gone on to hit Midland Lake. Handshakes. Sri Lanka the happier side against a very strong England. And I'm sure the coaching staff, team management and Sri Lankan cricket fans in general must be very, very happy about the outing Sri Lankans had today at goal. Historic moment. Yes, there you see some beautiful pictures from the copter. Definitely, there you see the England batting card. Nothing much to take about. Greg Krivkov got 26. Surend Kumar was batted, batting well before she got run out for 25. No Grove 14. Then down the order, Mary Taylor got 10, and Stone now 10 were the only double figures. To only batsmen to reach double figures. There were six extras. England were dismissed for 118 of 23.3 overs. The most important thing in the innings was Manudi Nanakara persisting on the spin, and both the spinners managed to finish the English innings off. Experience winger started off, and a young Praboda finishing it off. What a spell by two spinners, bowling in tandem, bowling in partnerships, and registering. A resounding win for Sri Lanka. Women's Tri Nation Series 50 over version was a very good one for Sri Lanka. Here's the bowling. Selwan, the 2 over 16 for none. Netranjali, 2 over 15 for none. Expensive. Then came Demi Vihanga, 43 for 4. Outstanding figures. Chamodi Proboda, 9.3 overs, 42 for 5. Very pleasing to see youngster living up to the potential. She's been identified as a future talent and straight away delivering still 14 years old, which means future is definitely bright for Sri Lanka. There's the wickets, first at 37, and I'm sure the viewers around the world. Wickets fell at 37, 43, 65, 77, 87, 89, 98, 100, 180. Two wickets were fell and Sri Lanka not letting England batters other than that first wicket partnership to settle down. Winning by a handsome margin against a strong outfit defying all odds. Historic moments to sum up the day, sum up the series for Sri Lanka. Beautiful venue, outstanding cricket in the middle, three teams competing, Australia of course winning 2 by 2, wins the series, Sri Lanka finishing very decent second position. There you see the highlights of the English innings, uh, Grewcock uh, started freely getting some couple of boundaries. Wonderful batting, wonderful stroke play we saw early in the innings of the two paces of Sri Lankan bowlers. All dropping short, that pulled away nicely. Then a juicy full toss, nicely placed by Grovecock into the boundary. Then uh, again uh, off the back foot and pulling it away. Grovecock was getting runs quite easily at the start and Devina Preen just lofting it over the bowler set for a huge six. And suddenly, the next uh, moment, she was walking back. Very nicely taken by Vimoksha Balasurya, who took that catch. And from there onwards, it was a regular wickets falling for the English team. There you see the LPW. And it was Vihanga and uh, Proboda rattling the English batsmen. And within the 20 overs among them, they got all the remaining wickets to fall. 
There was one run out uh, that was Surain Kumar who played a little gem of innings in the middle. She played very well. She was run out for 25. That was uh, unfortunate. That's uh, again nicely played by Surain Kumar. And this time straight into the hands that was uh, here we see Surain Kumar stroking it over the bowler said. And then that Surain Kumar's run out caused a lot of problems in the England camp. Then wickets started tumbling again and uh, it was all Prabodha and uh, Vihanga doing all the damage between 19 overs, 19.3 overs between them. They got uh, all the 10 wickets and to see England being bowled out for 118. So that uh, was the run out. And uh, from there onwards, it was no... There, there you see, this is the run out that uh, Surain Kumar was nowhere close to it. And... Uh, after that, Pramoda got a couple of wickets, a wonderful return catch taken by her. And Vihanga from the other end was uh, bowling beautifully, tossing that ball up, inviting the English batters to come down the wicket and hit it. And these were easy catches given to the Sri Lankan fielders. And that was a caught behind. And Vihanga finishing her overs. And then it was left to Pramoda to finish things up. And that was the final wicket, which Pramoda got five for. And she ended up with 5 for 43. We hung up 5 for 42 for the main wicket takers for the Sri Lankan girls. There you see the summary of the game. Sri Lanka 226. Rashmikasa won the batted pretty well. He got 59 of 58 deliveries. Kavin the 27. Nisansala 27. Manu Dinanakara the captain got 25. Among the bowlers, Mal 3 for 234. Surin Kumar 2 for 21. Pavli 2 for 16. And in reply, England were bowled out in 23.3 overs for 118. Drew Cock got 26, Surin Kumar 25. And among the bowlers, Chamudir Pramoda was a pick of the bowlers. 5 for 42 in 9.3 overs. Then we hung a superb combination between these two. Ended up with 4 for 43 of 10 overs. So Sri Lanka winning by 108 runs. And we go down now. For the presentation ceremony, we have Ricky Sims down there. Well, we have come to an end of an exciting uh, game in this uh, Under-19 Women's uh, Tri-Nations uh, Tournament. We have had uh, a glorious uh, week in Hambantota in the T20s and three games here in goal in the 50-over format. Uh, what a victory! Sri Lanka coming uh, at the end and winning that game over England by a massive uh, margin. Well, we have with us uh, the uh, match referee, Mr. Brendan Kurupu, who is here to hand over the uh, play of uh, the uh, match and the play of the match for an outstanding performance. 25 with the bat and uh, four wickets with the ball. Devmi Wihanga. Well done, Devmi. Oh, okay. Satuta Prakashakaran, another performance again. Good support. Team members 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 support. Team Product support so then we uh, we are very happy with her performance. She says that the wicket supported her bowling as well, and uh, she's very happy to play uh, against Australia and England. And it has been a learning experience. We would like to uh, chat uh, to the losing captain uh, from England, uh, Jordi uh, Grucock. Uh, it hasn't been the best of uh, games uh, for y'all uh, uh, with the bat. Uh, chasing was going to be uh, difficult. Uh, do you think uh, you considered too many runs to the Sri Lankans? Um, I think at half time, if you'd given us the score, um, we would have been pretty happy with it. Um, I think we just struggled to build partnerships, and that was we lost constant wickets. Um, but I thought the Sri Lankans bowled really well. 
was uh, the uh, wicket difficult to, to bat on in the second innings or was it uh, just uh, uh, probably poor shot selection and good bowling by the Sri Lankans? Um, a bit of both to be fair. I think it looked quite slow and a few a bit low. Um, but I think a couple probably on us with our selection. England were very good uh, winning that uh, T20 format. Unfortunately, could not uh, rise up uh, in the uh, 50 over series. But overall, tell us uh, something. How happy you have been here uh, to uh, Sri Lanka and, uh, and the experience England have gained in this tour. Yeah, it's been an unreal experience um, for all the team. And like we've taken so many learnings and lots of stuff that can put us in good stead for the future. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, England uh, under-19s have been uh, good ambassadors and as uh, Sri Lankans we are definitely proud to have you all here and hope to see you and the England under-19s sometime soon back to Sri Lanka as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that, that was uh, the England under-19s keeper Jody. Next we'll have uh, the winning captain for today, Manu Dinanekara, looking very happy. <laughs> Bright smile on her face. Manu Dinanekara, Tosseke Diwakiwa. This is the first time I have been able to defend the first time. The first time I have been able to defend the first time. I have been able to get the target. I have been able to get the team. I have been able to get the positive mind. I have been able to handle the situation. I have been able to get the target. I have been able to get the condition. तीन यार पॉजिटिव हिट पुनीस आ गेम में कहाँ ले सी करा 50 ओवर फॉर्मेट के ओगलांग वैरी सेलेंग कर लेने अतं अदर की ला 48.4 ओवर्स बैट करा मान ऐसी क्या वा कोमों दे ओगलांग एक रा प्रिपेयर होने आ मान इतना गेम में अच्छे के अभी पौड़ा में वैरी दी वैडिंग हो ना इतनी मांगी तो ना मैं के हम तो कम्बैक के आधुन ना प्रैक्टि� Antima Vata Vata, England Kandamath, Australia Kandamath, Mi Havila Thino, Lanka Vata, Vachanati Akki and Thino, the teams take again? Oh, Atram Godak, thank you all at Mi Havila, Apita can experience yag, Mi Vagi Dunna Tamu Kada, Mi Vagi Level Sek, Kapi Sel Lanka Lala, Apita Puluang, Apet Yena Level Lekha Thek, Hundar can a preparation venne, Iti Maang Hitano, Yal at Godak, thanks Karan Noone, Mi Vagi Conditional Ta Havila, Apita Kasel Lanka Rane again. And, uh, Oh, agi team mereka kena baca nasi wal pak. Oh, ini yang agi team mereka ini yang mana Hamilton best. Ini yang agi head coach Mahesh, staff mereka Hamilton agat tu, staff mereka Hamilton godak support kena players la ter. Ini yang specially vice captain, senior players la. Itu ru aku mau agi mana godak support kena. Madah saha pita tadi apa mentally. Eh, hamo dekik mampu cover kerana ini mang hitam agi team mereka saha agi staff mereka ni saha apa Hamilton apa championship mereka ni mana marga aktif. Well, uh, good luck, Manudi. Oh, Atat, oh, our team maker, that Idri Governor. Thank you. So there you go, Manudi Nanekara saying she's very happy with the performance. They learned from their mistakes in the last game and uh, came here and performed outstandingly well. Well, a big thank you to Australia Cricket, the ECB, and uh, Sri Lanka Cricket for hosting this uh, women's under 19 Tri Nations uh, tournament. It's back over to the Combox. Thank you, Ricky, and that was the presentation uh, by Ricky Sim doing the presentation down there in uh, Sri Lankan. Uh, there will be hunger getting 4 for 43 and uh, 20, 25 runs uh, won the Man of the Match award, which was very much deserving, of course. We may not, may, should not forget about Chamudi Pramoda also. She got 5 for 42, and uh, let's see some uh, highlights of that. Chamudi promoter getting her wickets. There we see that's a caught in bowl, very nicely held there. That's a lofted drive straight into the hands of the middle fielder. And that's again another catch uh, to the middle on. Well, then we promote the Chamudi promoter. That's the wicket, that's an LPW. And there you are, Chamudi promoter getting her Pfeiffer. And she's pretty happy down there. Well, definitely, that was the turning point of the game. Chamudi Pramoda and Devmi Bihanga. They see the final schedule of the games. England winning three games of the T20 series. Sri Lanka getting two. Australia won. And the 50 over series, Australia coming on top with two wins. And Sri Lanka outplaying England today by 108 runs, finishing on the second spot. So that uh, with that... The Women's Tri-Nation Series, uh, Under-19 Tri-Nation Series comes to an end. As we go back, uh, it's good night and goodbye.